We are going to raise an altar tonight. The altar is, Lord, anyone that intends to sacrifice human life for this election, before they carry out their enterprise, let them be killed. Don't be surprised if you see them dying one after the other. You and I are a part of it. When I see pastors say, one pastor told me, this kind of prayer, judgmental prayer you pray, that's not what Jesus came to die for. I say, eh. So these people that are sacrificing human beings, is that what Jesus came to die for? I told him, before a witch kill me, I will kill you first. You, I told him, you can wait. People came here from occultic, the occultic group and said to me that they will come. Can you imagine? To my face, not in the dream. Physical human beings said they will bring their satanist group to dance in front of our gate. Let them see who will enter here alive. Then I should say, oh Lord, have mercy. Uh -uh. I was not trained like that. Maybe when I get to heaven, Jesus will correct me. But I will kill you first. Before you kill anybody in this church, I will kill you first. It will not be under my watch. Listen to me. God said to me, he says, listen, son, I have, you know, I told you one day that in the scripture, God said that I will give account of your soul. Hello? Find that scripture for me. I will, I'm accountable for your soul. Listen, church, the way when we end of the year, we go to our accountant to prepare our um, yearly uh, financial statement and send it to SARS. So when SARS has a question, they don't ask me. Who do they ask? The accountant. So the accountant is giving account of House of Treasures to SARS. Church, that's exactly, where is that scripture? Not this one. Well, are you here? So, now, the same way God has called me. He said, he has given me the place to watch over your soul. Do you know, that, church, do you know that you, God is not the one watching over your soul? It's not God. If you thought it was God, you are deceived. I am the one watching over your soul. That's why I have to wake up daily and command every one of you, no evil will befall you. Satan will have to come through me to make sure, to touch you. And if I don't allow him, he has no right. You didn't hear me. Find that scripture where it says that it's somewhere in Hebrews. Find, is it 13, 17? Find it. He says, obey them that have rule over you and submit yourself. For they what? What do they do? Who is watching over your soul? Them that have rule over you. They watch over your soul as they, they must give who? They, I will be the one that will give account of your soul to Jesus. That's why every pastor preaching nonsense, when they meet God, eh, they will see fire. You're not correcting people. You don't. You just preach this hyper grace. God has forgiven you. You can do anything you like. Your sins are sins are forgiven. Yes, it's true. But that does not give us. Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? No. The poor apostle Paul said, "God forbid." He says, "I must give account for your soul, as they that must give account that they may do it with joy and not with grief, for that is unprofitable for you." So when I go before God and I want to give account of uh, Pastor Norbert, and I will say, Lord, you know Paul complained about Demas. Is it Demas? What did he say about him? He, he said what? He said something about Demas. He says, Demas has forsaken me, having loved this present world. He abandoned the men of God. And many people in church are like that. Haven't loved this present world. They are all over the place pursuing money. And on Sunday, if they are supposed to be here singing, they are in somewhere in Pumalanga pursuing money. They are supposed to be ushering. They are somewhere in Cape Town pursuing money. And me that is supposed to give account of your soul, 
I can't do it properly because I don't have a record of where you are. You just lift. You, how dare you not come to church without telling me? You just disappear from church? No, I give account of your soul. Church, I want us to pray. I want us to pray. Lord, there shall be no innocent deaths in this election. Every ritual killer will die before they carry out their enterprise. We are sending out judgment to the pit of hell tonight. Every ritual killer. Listen, your children are at risk. Believe me. Today, one of my daughter, I don't know what happened. And I mean, this, I have proof. She sent me a picture. Opened a, a can of Red Bull. As she drank it, she saw something like human flesh inside. Those of you who still drink Red Bull. And this woman has been in pain. Her stomach doesn't want to digest food, vomiting and going, nothing. Man, I had to take authority over Satan. And that thing vanished. Left her. I, are you here? I have proof. They sent me the cup, the bottle, and the skin that was coming out from inside. The days are evil, though. The days are evil. The days are evil. You don't know what has been planted for you. These are the days where you are sensitive to the Holy Ghost. Somebody walk into your office and want to shake you, check the hand first. Check. Check. Sometimes if you are in an office space where so many people are with you, before you sit down, I plead the blood over this chair. Because many people are, you, people are wicked. It's a wicked day. Don't see, don't be naive that everybody is like you. No, it's, it's not true. It's not true. The, you'll be surprised when you are in the taxi. The person sitting next to you is a kidnapper. Looking to take your life. The days are evil. Be sensitive to, the, to God. And that's why before you leave your house, plead the blood over your life. Listen to me. There is something Satan cannot go over. You know what the Bible said in Exodus chapter 12? When I see the blood, what will happen? I will pass over. He cannot. So you must plead the blood. When you send your children to school, plead the blood over them. Was it not a child that was brought here? Who remember the child that was brought on a wheelchair? Where is uh, They rolled her in. It was Wednesday service. Yeah, you were here. Young child went to school in the morning. Got to school. Another child gave, offered her uh, food to eat. After eating the thing, the, the two legs paralyzed. I think the mother said she has started walking after we prayed. She was rolled there on wheelchair, two legs completely dead. The days are evil. Anybody that plans anything for you, they will be buried in what they plan. What they plan for you will kill them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Are you ready to pray, church? Say, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, in this next election, any politician that wants to kill innocent people, that wants to do rituals to get position, Father, we command them dead in the name of Jesus. Let them be buried before they carry out their enterprise. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and open fire. My God, anyone that wants to use human lives, that wants to use human life for ritual in this next election, any politician, anyone coming out for any office that wants to use human life, my God, let their life be cut short. Let their life be cut short. Let their life be cut short in the name of Jesus. Palakambayada bragada, rebado ke brakete, shata kapayada da da da, reda bagada bragada. My God, 
somebody pray. Reto ko se ke te pre de de de, embre te ke se ke pre ke dos, nambre do ko sam braga ba ya de pre ke des, ma ya da braga da ya da pra na da 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 da, reda bo do ke pre ke dos, embre te ke se ke pre ke des, ma na ya da pra de ko se pre ke dos, embra te ko se pre ke te le pre ke dos, ra de ba ya ke pre de ke liga braga da, my God, there shall be no innocent death. My God, there shall be no innocent deaths. There shall be no innocent deaths. My God, your people will not be butchered. Oh God, anyone that is a ritual killer using human body parts, using human beings for sacrifice, Lord, for their own, for their own selfishness, Lord, we terminate their lives. We terminate their lives tonight before they kill the next person. We terminate their lives. I terminate their lives in the name of Jesus. Shete kapata prakoto meleketos ambe kapala gadaya rada baba bashata prakoto sebekete prefata kapayada rando pese kambekete parata la kapaya brando kose meleketos. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. There shall not be no killing of innocent people. My God, shete kaya da brande balagada mandele le le boshori le bragado redo basse ke brande ke te masora bada ya da branagada mende brande ke sobre ke tos emple de ke se ke le baragada mandele brando boshe de brande ke tos brande ba ya ke te brande ke te shete ke pete ke le ke te embrata ka ba ya da branagada. Mandele de debo solo prendegeros, reto base que prende todo le prendegeros, rande pese que prende que libra la gana, maya la prende que saca rabados, rande valle de prendegeros, embre que te que se que le prendegeros, rebade que ya da bra la gana, mande con la base que ya va le mande, Holy Ghost, we pray today in the name of Jesus that everyone that wants to use human bodies for rituals, human beings for rituals, in this upcoming election, anyone that has decided that they will use human lives, oh God of heaven, in this nation, locate them one after the other, let your fire roast them to death, let thunder strike them, my God, let them be buried in the name of Jesus. Re ba 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 shada bragada, rande be sobre ne ke beri are beros, mande ko se ke te brade ke des, re da ba ya da brana gada, shete ke pete ke le ke des, manda ye de braga dos, re da bo de ke brake dos, embre ke te ke se ke te brake dos, re te be de ke pre de 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 de, ra da ba da ya da brana gada, mande ko ra be se ke pre de ke dos, na ne ba se ke pre da ba da ba ba ba. Shata ba ya da brana da da, ma ye te ka brana de ke re se ke ti alabada. Re ba 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 shata ya, mande le bo she de pre de ke dos, embra te ko se ke pre ke te. Ra da ba 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 shata ya. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. We are going to pray that the church of God will arise in power. Let the church of God arise what? In power. Let the church of Jesus in this nation arise. Please pray for the church. The church must be stronger than the world. Say amen somebody. Let the church arise. Jesus said I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against me. Every gate of hell against the church in South Africa will not prevail. The church must arise. And listen, when I'm talking about the church, I'm not talking about the building. You are the church. Listen, when I say the kingdom of God, I'm not talking about kingdom of God is, is a building. The kingdom is you. The kingdom is the church. Is you. What did Jesus say? The kingdom is where? Come on, come on. Those who read the Bible, where is the kingdom? He says it's within you. The kingdom of God is inside you. That's why, church, when you don't care for your brother in Christ, you really don't have the kingdom inside you. 
if you don't care for your brother in Christ, you don't have the kingdom inside you. The kingdom is people. The way I can, I can tell you how the kingdom is represented. You remember during the xenophobia, when they went to burn Nigerian, um, I'm just using this as an example. They went to, what's that street in Melvin? Where they went to burn Nigerian car, car dealership and all that. Do you know what Nigerians did in Nigeria? Nigerians in Nigeria started burning shop right and started burning MTN offices. Now, it's a, I'm just using that as an example. So when the South Africans were burning people's Nigerian shops, Nigerians went there because what affects Nigerians here affects them. That's exactly how we are in the kingdom. In the king, they're just using the negative system. In the kingdom, what affects you affects me. I can't hear of your downfall and be rejoicing. Something is wrong with my Christianity. I can't hear that your life is a mess and I'm rejoicing. No. We are kingdom people. That's why we are not envious of each other. When God blesses you, I know that God is around the, around the neighborhood. That means I'm next in line. Say amen, somebody. Are we together, church? That's the kingdom mindset. Kingdom is people. The kingdom of God is not a building. It's people. It's people. So what do we do? We pray for each other. And so we want to pray. Let the church of Jesus arise in South Africa. Let the church of Jesus arise. The gates of hell will not prevail. Give me that scripture. I think it's Matthew 16, 9, somewhere 19 or somewhere. Just look for it. And I say unto thee, thou art Peter. And upon this rock, I will build my church. And what will happen? The gates of hell shall not prevail against it. The gates of hell will not prevail against the church in this nation. The church of Jesus will soar. The church of Jesus will arise. The prophecy of the last days is that the church will be a mountaintop church. And that all nations must flow into it. Everybody will advise themselves and say, let us go to the church. Let us go. That's the, that's the prophecy of you and me in the last days. The Bible says, God will so exalt me and you that the unbelievers will look at our lives and say, no, let's go to these people to learn from them. That will be your portion. I say, that will be your portion. So when I say, let's pray that the church will arise, don't think I'm praying that house of treasures will arise. No, it's you. Let the church arise. Are we here, church? Say, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, let the church of Jesus in South Africa arise and take her place. Let the church of Jesus take her place in the top of the mountain in the name of Jesus. Grace for that elevation release upon the church in South Africa in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Let that grace come upon the church. Mashata bayada branagadash mande kura bashata bragada yada brangada embrete kele bradagada bayada managada. Father, let the church arise. Let the church arise. Let the church arise. Let the church of Jesus arise. Oh God of heaven, you have declared in Isaiah chapter 2 and verse 1. You have declared in Micah chapter 4 verse 2. My God, that the church of Jesus will become the mountaintop church. And all nations shall say, let us go to the mountain of the Lord's house, the house of the God of Jacob, to inquire from him. My God, we pray that may you assault the church. May you assault the church. The gates of hell will not prevail. The gates of hell will not prevail against the church of Jesus. Mashete kabala branda kaya. Mande koraba shata bragada. Repa baba bashana mayagada. Mande koraba shete bragades. Mande de 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 bashana menegade. Repa dosa breke pelegados. Embrada bashana mayagada. Mande de 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 boshore menegados. Mashaya da balige de balagada. Mande de 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 boshore menegades. Mende brenegezo bragados. Embra kapaya da branagadas. 
Let the church of Jesus arise. Let the church of Jesus arise. Let the gate of hell not prevail. The gate of hell will not prevail against the church. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we pray tonight that the church of Jesus be elevated to the mountain top. Let the church of Jesus in South Africa be elevated to the mountain top. In the name of Jesus. My God, let the church arise. 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 Lord, place your church in the mountain top. Lord, across this nation, the length and breadth of South Africa, place your church in the mountain top. Place your church in the mountain top. My God, let all nations begin to flow into it. Let all nations, all let us, let them begin to flow into the church. In the name of Jesus, elevate your church. We decree that the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. In the name of Jesus, I want us to First Kings chapter eight and verse fifteen. First Kings chapter eight and verse fifteen. We are going to release the hand of God upon this nation, beloved. I truly want South Africa to experience a revival. You see, before a nation experiences revival, or in fact, the nation doesn't experience revival, it is the church that has to be revived. When the church is revived, the unbelievers are awakened. They get an awakening. But revival happens in the church. We have to be revived. Many of us, we need a new fire. We need a new fire. The old fire is not enough. You are too cold for God to use you. We need a new fire. He says, and he blessed, he said, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, which spake with his mouth unto David my father. And with his hands, he did what? He fulfilled it. Father, release your hand upon the church. Let a new fire come on the church of Jesus. This lukewarmness is enough. I am, I am done with lukewarm Christians. People who are not serious with God. That's why the prayer we prayed when the other day is God raise men in this conference that know you. Men that will know God. Genuine, authentic relationship with Jesus. Not this thing we are doing. We are playing games. We are playing games. These are the days when half of the men in church are committing adultery. What happened to us? Half of the men in church, not to talk about women, committing adultery. Married men have dates. Married men. One of my, one of the sisters that attend church here, well, my daughter, obviously her husband doesn't go to church got married to a man. And I mean, that's why this thing of hide and seek. I told you, ladies, if you meet a man, tell him, go and meet my pastor. 
If he doesn't want to, he has an ulterior motive. You won't listen. Went and married a man. And after marriage, cried to my office. Sat down with the man. Daddy, I just found out that he has six children with six different women. And he didn't tell me before wedding. Six children. How do you go and marry an idiot like that? Am I saying six children is wrong? No. But somebody should be truthful enough to tell you I have six children. How do you get into a marriage like that? And not just that. The reason that they fought, that brought them to my office, is that he, he left house and said he was going for a business meeting. He went to the one of the baby mama's house. First stopped by, she was following him like FBI. Hallelujah. He drove into ShopRite or Checkers, bought groceries. Ah, ah. She thought, oh, our, house, our fridge is going to be full. For where? Loaded the boot, headed to a direction. Ended up in one of the baby mama's house. I'm looking at this man. I said, is it true? He's just smiling. As if nothing, like he sees nothing wrong with it. These are the days when men and women are unfaithful in church. What kind of Christianity is this? We say we are Christians. That's why the world is, is ruling us. If we are Christians, let's live for Jesus. Let's be on fire for him. Let's be zealous. The same way these people are zealous to nightclubs. Let's be zealous in coming for prayers. Unbelievers do what they do very well. They prepare for Friday. Buy all kinds of liquor. And a, a believer will go and buy the same thing to spend Friday. One of my daughters in this house, also in this house. Man, I've seen things. Oh, and I say this thing so that you will learn. I'm not trying to bring you anyway. You don't know who I'm talking about. Called me one evening. Daddy, my husband was going out. It was a Friday evening, and we didn't have food at home. We ate baked beans and bread. And I opened my house. She sent me the picture. All manner of liquor was in a, a cooler. Close to 2,000 rents of alcohol was in a cooler in his boot with ice. Cooling. Waiting to be devoured. Meanwhile, the children and the wife ate big beans. Before God, I lie not to you. In this church, the brother was in this church. Not that he's outside this church. He was a member of this church. But they are divorced today. And that divorce made them leave church. She moved back from left Joburg and moved to somewhere else. To another city in the nation. I don't want to mention it so you don't know who I'm talking about. Baked beans. That's what they ate. And then the, the man has, church, listen, I'm tired of such Christians. Uh, look, I, I don't, I'm not praying that everybody here will be perfect in one day. But you can't be here for so many years and you are still buying whiskey with the kind of message I preach. When I tell you not to do it, it's because I love you. It's not because I, I don't want you to enjoy. Listen to me. God said to us, if you want to enjoy, sing psalms. Invite Bongiwe to your house. Ngena, ngena, ngena. You, you just, I mean. He said when you are happy, God gave you a breakthrough, don't go and buy Jack Daniels. He says sing is any Mary, put that scripture, uh, James chapter 5 verse 13. Is any Mary, what should they do? Let them sing psalms. Not let them drink alcohol and smoke. Christians in church. Christians. I go to your parties, you invite me for birthday, you wait till I go. And some people tell me, daddy when you left, alcohol was flowing. My son's party. What kind of thing is this? Where is that? Everybody read with me. One, two, go. Is any afflicted? 
What must they do? Let them pray. Is any... What should they do? Drink Jack Daniels. Drink hands up. Tequila sunrise. Keep naming them. You know them. Don't deny. Because some of you, your eyes are still ready today. Amen, somebody. Is that what the Bible said? Go smoke. Gather your friends. Have a bride. Mix coke and whiskey. Is that what the Bible recommended? Everybody, what did the Bible recommend? What do you do? Look at somebody say, I'm watching you. My eyes are on you. I will smell you every Sunday. <laughs> I, will, I will smell you. Amen, somebody. We used to have a praise and worship leader those years. Kai, talented, gifted young man. God gave that boy. Ay! He will come to Sunday service smelling alcohol. When he hold mic, fire. I said, what kind of thing is this? How, Lord, how did you anoint this boy? I'm telling you. And I will keep telling him. I say, son, God has gifted you. But this alcohol will destroy you. And he kept taking me for granted. Until one day, he got so drunk, lost his job, lost everything. Today, I don't even know where he is. One of the most gifted men in this nation was a member of this church when we were in Taba. Those of you who remember who started with us. Gifted. Any day they assign him to lead praise and worship, I'm rejoicing. But when service finished, when he come to greet me, daddy, the fumes coming out of his mouth. Me, I'm, I'm going like this, you know, just from the fumes from his mouth. I am drunk already. Hi! What kind of human being is this? May you not be like that. Listen, my body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. The Bible says, be ye not drunk with wine, wherein is excess. He said, but be filled with the Spirit. What is he saying? What wine does to a non-believer is what the Holy Ghost does to you. So you don't need the, whole, you don't need the, uh, the wine. You need the Holy Ghost. When you see people like us who are crazy, we stand here on this pulpit and talk the way we talk, act the way we, don't I talk like a madman? You think I'm talking normal? No, it's not. The way I behave is not normal. No. And some people are hearing what I'm saying and say, eh, hey, this boy, you have denied your country. I'm not normal. I'm drunk. With, listen, I am drunk with my calling. You can't remove that. I don't have any passion for Nigeria. Believe me, I have said it many times. And I'm not lying to you. I don't have it. As Nigeria does not interest me one bit. I'm not joking. When I get to Nigeria, before God, that I, I'm telling you the truth, five days, by the sixth day, I am wishing that Jesus return. I want to leave. But when I come in here, I've come to my place of Rehoboth. It's a calling. Many Nigerians hear me talk and say, Look at this idiot. He has denied his country. I didn't deny my country. I still say that I was born in Nigeria. But now I am South African. God placed me here. He only gave birth to me there. He packaged my assignment here. And my assignment is more than my place of birth. Oh, okay, all right. Listen, when you are drunk, you don't talk normal. Some of you that are still normal, you are not drunk yet. You need to be filled. I'm telling you. It was Ezekiel that, in, in Ezekiel 47, that said, listen, I, I went to a, a river, and the angel of the Lord that was with me, and he began to measure in cubits, and he said one was at ankle deep. And then he measured again, it was a knee deep. He measured again, it was waist deep. And then by the time he measured the final one, it was a river that you cannot swim in. It has overwhelmed you. That's when the Holy Ghost has over. That's the kind of church that is nice to pastor. Men and women that have been overwhelmed by the Holy Ghost. Not this kind of church we are seeing today. Where pastors are faking miracles. Why do you fake miracles? 
Why? For what? I don't have to prophesy. If I don't have the gift, don't cook it. Imagine, I will just tell somebody by the gate to collect your information, asking questions. They collect your information. And I just stand on the pulpit, I say, there is a Sibongile sitting at the back. Your phone number is 083 so, 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 and so. Meanwhile, the information was given to me. I had a man of God call me recently. Very, very painful experience. True story before God. I was in Dubai when he called me. I was in the hotel room preparing to preach in the evening. And he called me and he said, I said, hey, I see so, 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 and so prophet was in your church. Popular prophet that all of you know. All of you are following. And uh, <laughs> I said, how was the preaching? He said, man of God, I want to tell you the truth. After he left, I went to the altar with my leaders to repent. I said, why? He said he came with some people and put them in the congregation. And he, they will ask questions to somebody sitting around them. Hey, what's your name, my so-and-so? What's your name? Where do you stay? And then the guy that he's sitting, he's getting, collecting the information, we text it to his iPad. And then he will see it. And he says, there is a certain Sibongile here. Your phone number is 083 so and so and so. It was after the service finished. His leaders came to tell him, sir, there were people collecting information from people and sending it to this man. These are the days. Where are we going? God raised a church on fire. We need, we need serious believers in church. I'm telling you. We need serious people who don't want to live like the world anymore. Die to self. Die to all the things of this world. Opportunity given to you is not for lust. It's not for sin. That God blessed you with money does not mean you should have more women as a man. That God blessed you with a position does not mean you should oppress others. It is given to you to be a blessing, not to go and destroy people's lives. A pastor sent his daughter to me. I've told you this story before. Lives in Aspen, a bishop. Daughter came into my office. A daughter of a bishop. This, late, this girl is 19 or 21, somewhere there. The, the boyfriend is 61. Now, just picture Hannah, my daughter, dating is 60. Well, look, she won't try it. Thank God. But I can assure you, I will kill her. <laughs> Somebody say murder. I will not send that to another bishop. I, me. I don't have that. Thank God for that bishop. But me. I will kill her and give birth to another henna. 61 year old man. I don't know who is 61 here. If we compare, just bring a 60. Who is, who is a 61 year old man here? Let me see. Is there anybody who's 61? No man here is 61. Who is 60? This is really a young church. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. We don't have madalas here. Wow. All, all the 61-year-olds are sleeping. <laughs> Amen. I mean, look at her. I looked at this girl. I asked her a question in my office. I said, what are you doing with a 61-year-old man? You know what she said to me? I love him. Eh? Ew. I said, thank God this one is not my daughter. You, today, I will bury you. I will dig, you see me? I will kill you, lock the door. Ask my lady to get me shovel. Dig in my office. I bury you there. Cover it. Nobody will know. What? You love him. 61 years old. You 19. Inside, that girl was raised where? Where was she raised? In the church, not in the nightclub. She was raised in church. That must change. You will not live a lukewarm life again. 
you will today lukewarmness is over we are going to ask God to baptize us with a new fire we will be on fire for Jesus those are the days where all kinds of mess is going on in the church and the devil is having a field day in the church enjoying our unholy and ungodly lifestyle that's why we don't have power we declare nothing works we are betraying one another you can't rejoice for a sister that got married look at her I don't even know how she got that husband that job she got I don't even think is I think she slept with the CEO we, we're not happy for one another these are the days when pastors imagine a pastor will look at me and say I have muti just look at I, first I look like an angel how can somebody like me which Sangoma will I go to to collect Muti? That the reason I have built such a large church is because I use Muti. Which Muti? The Muti I use is here. When I'm here, three days, dry fasting, no water, no food, 12 hours prayer per day. And then he's busy sleeping. Wake up and say, I have Muti. No, that's not how it works. Pay the price. Pay the price. Say amen to that. So church, I want us to pray that God will raise a church on fire. Let's begin with this church. Not this lukewarm thing that we have. Listen, when you have a passion for the Lord, nobody will beg you to come to church. All those phone calls we make, all those SMS. Now, how many of you get SMS every week? Raise your hand, let me see. You get SMS every week from this church for service. You see, all those things, we won't be doing them. You know why we are doing them? You are sleeping. Because we need to remind you that Sunday is... Otherwise, Sunday you might be in Konka. There is a song now that came out where they do... Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. I say, which way? Where do they get all this dance? Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. I say, what Man. Hey. Oh God. God help us, man. God help us. Hi. And I'm telling you, many Christians are playing it and they will video themselves put on TikTok. Hey, 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 hey. If I catch you on TikTok. Are we together here, church? Somebody say, church on fire. Somebody shout, I will be on fire for Jesus. Are you ready to pray? Stand up on your feet. You are going to pray. Father, set the church on fire again. Once more, baptize us on fire. Let, let us go back to our first love. The zeal of the Lord's house. The commitment we had with Jesus. Many of us, when we got born again, we used to wake up every day to pray. Now our prayer life is dead. If there is no planned program in church for prayer, we are not praying. If there is no, no, no planned program to study, we don't study our Bible. We don't listen to messages. Eh? We watch social media the whole day, watching nonsense. And yet we have not fed our spirit. So many of us, our spirit are hungry. Like Pashoko, your spirit is like those children in Ethiopia. With, you know those children in Somalia? Big stomach, small neck, big head. That's how your spirit looks. Why? Because you have, not, you have kept yourself starving. I want us to pray, Lord, set me on fire. Once more, set me on fire. Let, let this burning fire of the Holy Ghost, let it set me up. I want to be burning for Jesus. He talked about John the Baptist. He says he's a, he's a burning, shining light. Look for that scripture for me. He talked about a man that he said, this man is a burning, shining light. That will be your representation. Those years, you didn't need to tell who is a Christian. When you see a Christian by the way they talk, their modesty, their lifestyle, you will know who is a Christian. But these are the days when Christians are like unbelievers acting crazy, doing the things they do. 
No, this is a holiness church. Unfortunately, if you thought you came to just a church, this is a what? Is a holiness church. Look at the description of John the Baptist. Read with me one to go. He was what? A burning and what else? A shining light. And you were willing for a season to rejoice in his light. May people rejoice in your light. A burning and a shining light. That's what we are. We, we are in this world. That's who you are. If you are otherwise, then that's not who God made you. You are a burning and a shining light. People should rejoice at your light. When you come into a place, you brighten the place. You are the giver of hope. You are the one that prays for people, raises the dead. People call you and they have hope. Somebody know that when you appear, solution has appeared. That's who you are. I say that's who you are. Don't let the devil make you otherwise. You are not an adulterer. You are not a fornicator. Am I talking to somebody? You are not a liar. You are not a drunkard. Am I talking to believers here? You are a burning and a shining light. Are you ready to pray? Say, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, make me a burning and a shining light in this generation. Make me a burning and a shining light in this generation. Let men rejoice at my light in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Somebody pray. Lord, make me a burning and a shining light. Make me a burning and a shining light. Lord, let my light not be put out. Let my light not be put out. Make me a burning and a shining light. Lord God of heaven, let me be a representation of the kingdom on earth. Oh God, oh God of heaven, make me a burning and a shining light in the name of Jesus that men may rejoice at my light. Let men rejoice at my light. Let men rejoice at my light. Let men rejoice at my light. In the name of Jesus. Make me a burning and a shining light. Make me a burning and a shining light. Oh God, make me a burning and a shining light. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Rani fate ko beligadosa. Embre teke seke bregedos. Rada badaya namanagada. Mashada baya namanagada ya. Mandere de debo shore medege baragados. Rade baye de brenegeros. Reda badaya da branagada. Rade bade ke sopre negeros. Rade ba 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 shata ya. Mandere de bo shore medege de bregedos. Reba do se preke peliga bragada. Rade baye ke ne menege de bragados. Embrata kapaya da branagada baya da gada ba. Reba ba 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 shata ya nama. Mandere de bo shere de branagados. Maso rabada ya da branagados. Mandere de de bo shori gada bragados. Embrata kapaya da branagada. Rede bada ya da branagada. Father, make this house a burning and a shining light. Make your people a burning and a shining light. Let men rejoice at our light. Let people rejoice at our light. Let people rejoice at our light. In the name of Jesus. My God. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. I want us to pray one last prayer as we declare over South Africa. Give me the book of Isaiah chapter 46 and verse 10. I want you to declare over this nation. What are, is our expectation? Let's declare it. Let's declare it. This nation, a righteous man will rule us. Declaring what? The end from where? From the beginning. 
And from the ancient times, the things that are not yet saying, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. You are going to declare over this nation, Lord, let a righteous man rule us again. Men and women that are ready to die for this nation. Let me tell you, Mandela didn't come here to seek for himself. Every, that's why till today, if you mention the name of Mandela anywhere in the world, that name is still respected. You know why? It was his sacrifice. Mandela was not in government for himself. He won't go to jail for 27 years for, some, for money. No man will do that. He had a cause. And he said, I will fulfill this cause. I want the liberty of my color people. I want the liberty of the blacks. We need presidents like that. We need leadership that are, that are ready to die for the people. The leadership. Let God raise us another man like that who has that kind of heart. 27 years is not a joke. They are, who is 27 years here? Let me see your hand if you're 27. Now just picture from the day you were born till today, Mandela has been in prison. Just picture that. Why? I want the emancipation and the liberty of black people in this nation. And today we are enjoying that liberty. And instead of the ones that are ruling us to keep that liberty, they're putting black people into bondage. Into more bondage. Today, look at how many blacks are in debt. How many blacks are living in shacks. It was during the looting I saw the state of people living in Alex. A nation like this. People are living like that, like animals in Alex. I saw that people are living inside trash. I was shocked. I could not believe that a nation, you know, when you live in the suburb, you think all oh, South Africa is like that. It's not true. People are living in hell, in shacks. Unbelievable. A nation like this is not supposed to be so. Somebody will enter office, promise to build a thousand house. Not one has been built. And then you want us to vote for you again. How? Are we stupid? People will promise us, they all come in, and it's not just one person. Everybody is making big promises now. Promises. All of a sudden, load shedding vanished. All of a sudden. I, look, are you in South Africa? Uh -uh. Does anyone live in South Africa like me? Don't you ask that question. I was in the U.S., and I called Hannah, my daughter. I said, uh, daughter, how is the load shedding? He said, there is no more load shedding. Ah, no more. Uh, where did load shedding go? Who has an answer? I want one. I'm, I'm genuinely asking. I'm not, I'm actually not, I uh, know. Who has the answer? Is there any politician here? Where? Give us an answer. Load shedding just disappeared. Now, guess what? Hello? Uh -huh. All of a sudden. Then you now tell me that this thing is not man-made. I can't believe you anymore. I can't. Unfortunately, listen, I am not talking against anybody. But I'm just a sensible South African citizen who is asking questions. Where did low shedding go? Where did it go? Because it crippled so many companies. Many people lost their jobs. So many companies could not keep up with salaries because of the high rate of operation. A church like this, who were operating on a generator that uses 9,000 rent diesel per, per week. We have two generators that are running this place. Massive, humongous generators. Where did it go? I want to know. Church, listen. It has to start with you and me. It has to start with us. 
Because I can tell you, many people now in church who we are praying that God should elevate, when they get there, they will do worse. Because if you and your brother in church can do business and you, you swindle them, it means you will do worse than the, what the politicians are doing. Are you here? That's what it is. How many of us can, today, we are all scared to do business with one another. In fact, if I go to your business and it's Jehovah Shammah dry cleaners, I will run as far as the east is from the west. Once I see Jehovah, ah, hallelujah is coming down, uh, food, food, uh, whatever. I will run. Because all those things I cover up. There is no integrity anymore. I saw one company, Hepsiba. I said, man, you just carry all these big names. But no integrity. We can't trust one another. Somebody in this church saw a guy in the parking that is driving a Mercedes, nice Mercedes coupe, drop top, and said, let's get into business. He gave him 30,000. That was the last time the guy came to church and my son came to complain. I said, first, why didn't you tell me before you gave him the money? Why didn't you tell me? You should have come to tell me. Church, if anybody says, let's do business, tell me first, though. If you tell me after the business has gone sour, I will not get involved. I am warning you now. I will not. You go and give somebody money, they vanish. Not everybody in church is a Christian. This place is a hospital. There are still so many sick people. Some of them are limping in the spirit. It's true. Some of them are, have spiritual HIV. Some of them have spiritual high blood pressure. And so you don't go and trust people like that. I'm just telling you, be careful. Be careful. Not everybody in church is a brother or a sister. So that you don't marry a witch and then you come and tell me that, Apostle, I got a witch from your church. No, you didn't get from my church. I'm not, it's not my church. It's Jesus' church. You didn't pray. You didn't do the right thing. I told you, these, these are the days where we have to be careful. Church, I want us to pray. Let's declare what we want in this election. Lord, we are asking you and declaring as the church. You remember my message to you Sunday and Wednesday? What do you do? Command. What do you do? So I want us to declare. Let's declare. Who wants a righteous man to rule us? Look, it doesn't mean God should remove the one that is there. God can make him righteous before the election. So that's not what, if you think that's the prayer I'm praying, no. We're saying God, you can do anything. God can change anybody. God can give, who would have thought that Saul, who was on his way to Damascus to go and kill Christians, will become the one that wrote the one third of the, two third of the New Testament. Are we together? So God, we are declaring, let a righteous man rule this nation. Are you ready? Say, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree and we declare. We issue a decree. We issue by dominion mandate. We issue a decree that a righteous man will rule this nation. We summon that man to the throne. Let your hand be released to raise a righteous man for South Africa to rule this nation in the next election. In the name of Jesus Christ, begin to declare your expectation. Father, we declare it. We declare that the righteousness of God will rule this nation. We speak concerning this election. It shall not be manipulated. It shall not be rigged. We declare the righteousness of God will rule this nation. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we decree and declare that no unbeliever will ascend to that throne. Lord, we declare that you will raise men and women that you have prepared for South Africa. In the name of Jesus, we declare, Lord God of heaven, that this nation will bow its knees to you, O oh God. This nation will bow her knees to Jesus. We declare that we will have a president that will call for prayer in the presidential house, in Union Building, in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare in the name of Jesus, 
that you will raise righteous politicians. Raise them, Father. Raise them, Lord. In Jesus' name. Do you believe in your prayers? Give Jesus thanks. Give Jesus thanks. Give Jesus thanks. You have an opportunity in a church like this to come and pray and be fed the word of God and put some corrections in your life. If you go to any church and all they do is appeal to your lust and your emotions, any church you go to and you are happy living all the time, it's not, it's not church. A true church is one where you go. By the time you are leaving, you are telling yourself, hey, I need to correct this. I need to take care of this. I can't continue like this. I can't. That's a real church. One day, my son here, I finished preaching. You remember? I was walking away. He walked to me. He said, Daddy, today is the last day I drink alcohol. After service, from that day till today, he has not tasted alcohol. This guy was a booze master. What we call in Nigeria, Shaki's man. Used to drink like a fish. One service. After he heard a hot message. The message entered. May something enter you today. He walked to me. He said, today is my last. It's as if I was the one he was buying the alcohol from. The way he said it to me. He said, today is the last day I drink alcohol. I say, in Jesus' name, amen. That's it. Today he's a pastor in this church. He's a pastor. That's what I'm talking about. You should leave a church like this and you tell yourself, eh, I can't continue like this. I can't live like this. This is not me. Can't be sleeping with this man who refused to marry me. I can't. I can't. This is not my life. I can't be living this careless. Can't be playing games with my Christianity. I'm doing hide and seek. You are living here after this kind of prayer. You are going to a boyfriend's house to go and sleep. Are you okay from a glory like this? No. Be ye holy as your heavenly father is holy. Let's welcome Pastor KG as he comes to lead us. Put your hands together for him. church. Amen. 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 We're here to pray, right? Uh, we, can, we can just stand to our feet. We can just stand to our feet. We can just remain standing. Greeting you all in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Um, Dad, I honor you truly, truly deeply, and, uh, deeply so. Greeting our spiritual mother who's currently watching. Mom, we love you. Um, Thank you for this opportunity to stand here and lead us in prayer. I'm going to simply get straight into it. We're going to pray for the conference, our guest ministers, that God will give them a word for the conference that will have impact in our lives and that they will arrive safely. They will arrive safely. We'll pray for all the logistics. Um, but how many of us know that we've been given, we've been blessed with a spiritual father? Yeah, we've, we've been blessed with a great spiritual father. Yeah, some of us are evidence of that, that, you know, had I not met my spiritual father, I don't know where I'd be. I came into this church just over a decade ago and I had no direction. I didn't know what was what. I didn't know where I was going. And by God's grace, he took me and he did what he did. He, 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 he took me through it all like an old, he, like his own son. And all of us, I can, I, can, I, can, I can bet each and every single person has a story of that caliber that when I came in, I was this way and today I'm like this. I was praying during the week, praying for the conference and I wondered, God, why we conference in, conference out, we stay the same after the conference. 
And God had me switch my perspective on the conferences. Most of us, when we see the conferences, we see it as a grand finale. That when day one starts, this is what will happen. But if you would notice from January till now, even till five minutes ago while dad was here, we've been given words. And all these words are foundations. All these words are things that if we key into them, we will see change. Romans 1 verse 11. Paul says, I long to see you that I may what? Impart into you a spiritual gift to make you strong. I long to see you. There's a desire in me to see you so that I can impart a gift to make you strong. Paul was not given the opportunity. He, he was not going to see the uh, Romans again. We have a father who's with us week in, week out. Paul says that I can just see you to impart. We see him every Sunday, every Wednesday. Every opportunity he stands here, there's impartation taking place. The word, what we are going to pray for, we're going to pray for the conference. But what I've realized is that foundations are being built. We are seeing the conference as a, the grand finale. You know, an apostle is a builder. Any, any man who's an apostle, the primary purpose of a, an apostle is to build. So when you are building, you're intentional in what you're building and in how you're building. Paul says we are master builders. 1 Corinthians chapter number 3. We are master builders. I've laid the foundation so that others can come and build the rest and build it up. Foundations have been placed. If you look at this building, it has four walls. And all these walls are standing because of a foundation. Each and every wall stands because of the strength of the foundation. So many of us are looking for what will happen at the conference, not realizing that there was a foundation and a blueprint being set in, from January till now. And we are waiting for the wall to be built. A lot of baby Christians will be looking for who's preaching when. We don't look for that. We've been put into a place of maturity knowing that each and every speaker has a part to play. That Apostle Josh, uh, 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 Pastor Charles Osazua, Apostle Grace Lubega, Reverend Ike Nwanze, Reverend Chris Matebula, that if you're looking for one, you miss the rest. But all these walls stand on a building. There's been words that have been decreed from this altar. I want us to pray. Lord, every word you have released through your servant, Apostle Felix, from January till now, Lord, may it manifest now. May each and every word come into manifestation now. If you're still waiting for the conference, it has started. It has started. We are not going to wait for Tuesday. It has begun. Wednesday's word was a conference for you. Saturday's word was a conference for you. The foundation has been set so that when Apostle Grace Lubega stands here, one side is built. Why? Because the foundation has set. Come on, stand to your feet. Come on, stand to your feet and declare, Father, come on, open your mouth. Lift up your right hand and say, Father, every word you have spoken through your Son, and servant, Apostle Felix Oko, let it find expression in my life. Let it begin to manifest. Paul said, I long to see you, that I can give you a gift to make you strong. Let every gift you have given me through Apostle Felix Oko, make me strong. Come and open your mouth and pray. Shake it like a black hotel. Jeteke braka takatuma, takuma lika braka zaza. Shatataya, Jesus niva la sozo. Zeka branta leke para kataila, sozo zombele kazaya. Jaka taka braka to, ikunande ki para kataya. Jaka branta leke baya, jaka taka bali koto kopo, braka soko toko bele kataya. Paul was a master builder laying the foundation that all the other apostles may bring, may, may raise the walls. Lord, we pray that every foundation, every word that you have released through your son and servant, Apostle Felix Oko, may begin to manifest in our lives. Marosh, Shashele Kezoa, Siente Kisha, 
Shefra nase ki balakataya. Shenemenekos. Shetel. Sheleta. Shakata. Kakone bila tuana. Senta peru zakataya. Shikantu baleki sotoporo. In Jesus name. Romans 10 verse 16 to 18. Romans 6. Romans 10, 16. But now all the Israelites accepted the good news. For Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed our message? Verse 17. Consequently, faith comes by hearing the message. And the message is heard through the word of God. Ah. But I ask you, did they not hear? Of course they did. Their voices has gone out into the earth. They are words to the ends of the world. We are in a season where faith has been triggered. Oh, in fact, Rom Romans 1 verse, verse, verse 6. Is it verse 6? Oh, let, let oh, sure. me... Hmm. Verse 8. First, I thank my God through Jesus for all of you because your faith has been reported all over the world oh that there's a gospel a message that has been released and via this message faith was birthed in the man and as faith is birthed it is said that there was a report throughout the world about one man's faith oh that the the evidence Pastor Larry, as he stands, there should be evidence of faith being, being birthed out through him that reaches the ends of the world because of a message that has come from a man. Paul preaches to a few, but the whole world knows. Not because they've seen Paul, but they've seen Paul's message live through one man. I want us to pray, Lord, let the world see the evidence of my faith. Apostle is not here to waste words. Man, we've been blessed with a father. You know, a, a father doesn't sugarcoat. A father doesn't try to convince you so that you can like. He comes and he sets the tone. You like it, you'll stay. You don't, you will go. But if you go, it's to your own detriment. If you stay, it's for your own benefit. Paul says, I spoke the word to you. And as I ministered, you believed. And as you believed, there's evidence through the ends of the world until they see you until they hear about you in China until they hear about you in Brazil until they hear about you in India what 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 we are receiving here should take you to the ends of the world I want us to pray Lord may the message that has built faith in me or let it steer me oh God may my faith be known all over the world may I be known because of this word we are huh, the vision of this church to raise an army of believers who will take over their world if you're not taking over you're not in alignment with the vision i want you to open your mouth lord let there be the evidence of my faith that has been preached in akuta because of the message preached in this church let us pray lord let there be evidence everywhere i go in jesus mighty name open your mouth Shofre la sita, koto brakata kata, shoko to obala kata ya, jenta kabaka kata kata, shake it abana kato ko, shela kata kabranta, jene meleso, jene meleneso, jene melemeneso, jasai, 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 erasa to ko para, jele brakasoto. Jeke branke teke bar, e branke balakoto, ika dua, ika dua, le bras, shakatai, shakatakatai, shatakato, shatakatai, e ka dua sasso, shakatakabalakata, e la dua katakata, soto ko branke leka ba. Roko doko brente ki balakapa, raka doko balikatwasa, shalati ko balakataya, 
Lord, let there be evidence of this word preached to us, O oh God. Let every message we've received, O oh God, from the start of the year till this, this coming Sunday, O oh God, may bear fruit, O oh God, that our faith will be reported till the end of the world. Our faith will be reported till the end of the world. The faith that comes by the word and hearing the word of God. As we've heard the word of God, faith was birthed. Let this faith be reported in the mighty name of Jesus. First Corinthians chapter number three, verse seven, verse nine, and verse ten. Sorry, verse six, verse nine, and ten. I planted the seed. Apollos watered. God makes it grow. Verse 9. For we are God's fellow workers. You are God's field. God's building. By the grace God has given me, I laid a foundation as an expert builder. And someone else is building on it. But each one must be careful how he builds. By God's grace, our spiritual father has laid the foundation. I want us to pray. As the... Uh, 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 our guest ministers will be standing on from Tuesday till Sunday. As they will be standing, they will be finishing off the building. That <sighs> a master builder has been setting the foundation. If you are going to neglect the foundation of the words we've been receiving, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but reality check, you won't find much meaning in this conference. Every wall stands on a foundation. Every wall. So, in fact, what I would like to charge you with is go back from January. Binge on these messages. Shut down Netflix for a moment. Binge on them so that the moment Tuesday starts, Apostle Grace stands here and he speaks. It makes meaning. The word has a place to stand because you have a foundation that has been given to you from the messages from January. Come on, stand to your feet and say, Father, as each and every guest minister releases the word, Lord, let it begin to build my life. You have raised the apostle as a master builder who's been laying a foundation. Let every man who comes to speak, oh God, let our lives be built in the name of Jesus. Jezele Brosso Kotokopaya, Sheke Brantali Kaza, Kosole Bratakataya, Jene Minoto, Jene Meneto, Jepe Rusa, Sheke Braza Giza, Sole Mane Dushka de Beracusa, Jele Bracaza Ziza Numbra, Sheke Brantali Kabari Katoko de la Kapaya, Jele Kabrakato Sheke Taila, Shotokoto. Shokoto Koto, Kekora, Kekora, Kekora Liga, Shoson Toprate. Zechariah chapter 1, verse 18. Then I looked up, and there before me were four horns. I asked the angel of God who was speaking to me, What are these? He said, These are the horns that scattered Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. Then the Lord showed me four craftsmen. What are these coming to do? He said, these are the horns that scattered Judah so that no one could raise his head. But the craftsmen have come to terrify them and throw these horns down of the nations who lifted up their horns against the land of Judah to scatter its people. I want us to pray that every word preached from this altar will have a long lasting impact on this nation. I want us to pray that every man of God who will speak each and every one of their words will go into the government, will go into businesses. Do you see the reason why we are seeing so much turmoil and turbulence is because we are not rising. 
The church is not rising. We are not rising. Daniel, all it took him was to stand. Daniel rose. I, lo I love Daniel. <laughs> I, I love Daniel. Oh, I, I love Daniel with everything in me. Because I understood Babylon is intentional about shutting you down. So you need to be intentional about rising up. Because if you are not, you'll be shut down by Babylon. Babylon does not reward you by hard work. No, Babylon doesn't. Babylon wanted to shut down uh, uh, Daniel. Daniel said, okay, it's fine. I'll be eaten by the lions. That was Babylon. But it came to a point where the same person who sent Daniel to be the, the, the lion's breakfast was sent mad into the wilderness to eat for seven years to, to, to be like a cow. Years, generations later, the king's son rose and wanted to defile the artifacts of God's temple and God wrote on the wall. And when the king was puzzled, we have an issue. How do we solve it? His wife said, there is a Daniel. The, your, the company you work in, they should say there is a Daniel. Where you are, they should say there is a Daniel. Your business, there should be a Daniel. Your sector, you should be a Daniel. The reason why, you know, you, the, the turmoil that we are seeing is increasing. Daddy, LGBTQ community is adding a P. The P stands for pedophilia. <laughs> that they are allowing pedophiles to identify with them. To say having sex with a four-year-old is normal. Oh. That even our education department has introduced a bill. It is there. It, it, it is already there. That they, they can teach your children whatever they want. And whatever they teach them affects public, private, and homeschooling. That if a parent chooses not to take their child to school, you'll go to jail for one year. And when they, take them to, to, when they take them to school, the government doesn't only teach them sex ed, where they teach them how to have sex, no. Uh, or teach them about sex, no. They're also teaching four-year-olds, eight-year-olds, seven-year-olds, nine-year-olds how to pleasure themselves. They are also teaching sexuality education to teach your children from the ages of four and six how, what it means to be uh, transgender. They are teaching them that. I can bet you if a Daniel arose and stood in dominion, none of these would be happening. That's why this conference is here. is so that Daniels can be triggered into action and stand up and say, far be it from me. This will not happen. I want us to stand to our feet and say, God, you are sending craftsmen to deal with haunts of perversion, to deal with haunts of of, 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 of witchcraft Lord as they come into this nation let all these issues be dealt with let all these horns be cut off where you are open your mouth and say God we the, we, the Bible tells about tells us about four craftsmen our gifts ministers are four it is not a coincidence it has been the pattern and I've noticed it's always four for it is because there's something that must happen and their impact is national. Open your mouth and declare that God, as your guest, as the guest ministers come, oh God, every horn will be dealt with in Jesus' mighty name. Shake it up, Braka. Zete ke Braka takataya. Shele Brasaza. Shake a Brato Lokopoko. Runta. Runta Lika Braka Talika Bakatai. Shate get the Kepala. Shene Nento. Shekrasi la cosa, Shekrasi la cosa, Shele brasa kato, Shele brasa kita, Shoprasante, Shakatala, Shakatala, Gizo, Gizo le brashanta, Shikantaliba, le brakasa kito. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus, Shele pakato. Bete Gibra, celebra casante. 
Come on, pray. Come on, pray. Shele keto. Zene mene kuza. Zele sika. Sete kuto. Sakuta kabrante le kepa. Kozoli kabra shele kuta. In Jesus' name. Ezra chapter number 6. Verse 14. Verse 14, so the elders of the Jews continue to build and prosper under the preaching of Dr. Charles Osazua, under the preaching of Reverend Ike Nwanze, under the preaching of Apostle Grace Lubega, under the preaching of Reverend Ike Nwanze. They finished building the temple according to the command of God and the decrees of Darius and Artaxerxes, king of Persia. The building was complete on the third day of the month of Adar, the sixth year of the reign of King Darius. I want us to declare that we will build and we will prosper at the preaching of the word of God at Excel Conference. Come on, stand up where you are with your right hand lifted. Say, Lord, I will build and I will prosper as the preaching of the word of God comes at this conference. Open your mouth and declare, Shake it up, Branta. Shele Kasose, Zila Kuzabra, Shele Brasante, Shele Kuzabra Taya, Shele Kazombe Rekita, Rondo Kosela, Merekiza, Soko Brante de Kezo, Shikato, Rankeka, Rankeka Tose, Shele Kezuko, Zaki Kompresika, Zeke Brante de Belekuta, Sheke Brante de Kezoko, Shoko prante leke pakato, reke pakiso. Sheke prante zipa la kuzelemba. Sheke prante leke parika doko te parakata. Kakuza zonse zivereko, rako koko do. Nika rush e prasa zavala gua. Zero asaza. Let your people prosper. Let your people prosper. In the areas of the marketplace, in the areas of ministry, let them prosper. Let them prosper. In Jesus' name. Ezekiel 1, verse 28b. It says, This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of God. When I saw it, I fell face down. And I heard the voice speaking. Chapter 2, verse 1. He said to me, Son of man, stand to your feet and I will speak to you. It says, As he spoke, the Spirit came into me and raised me to my feet and I heard him speak. A word is coming for you. That word will be backed by the Spirit. And as the word is being released, the Spirit will enter into you and raise you into a new level. I want us to stand to our feet. Lord, at the speaking of the word of God, at this conference, take us to a new level. Catapult us into a new dimension. Take us into a new realm. Come and open your mouth and declare that God, from Tuesday, as the word will be spoken, I will go into a new level in the name of Jesus. Shake it up, Rakataya. Shake it, Ratakataza. Sele Kijo. Shaka Brakatalika Dokodo. Next level. Take us into the 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 next level. Shakot. Shakot. Shakot, 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 Rakadosh, Repakasoso, Sheleketoa, 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 Rekasuka, Perentelika Barakito, Kasovre Tikadakwa, Sheketaki Pratelekezoa. Jinta sa vele kusa, berende feru sa seza. Sheteli kabranta la kazoa. In Jesus' name.
And lastly, 1 Thessalonians chapter number 2 and verse 18. For we wanted to come to you, certainly I, Paul, did, again and again, but Satan stopped us. In the King James it says Satan hindered us. We want to declare that there will be no hindrances for our guest preachers. There will be no, Satan will stop no one. In fact, we stop Satan now. If he has a plan to stop any man of God, they all have their visas, they all have their tickets, they all have their everything that is needed. But not, Dad was telling us last year, uh, ownership, that as one of our guest ministers was about to get into the plane, they said, we don't have a place. That was Satan. We declare, it will not happen this year. It will not happen this year. That no guest minister, no guest artist will be stopped by Satan. Come and open your mouth. We declare Satan will not hinder anyone. Satan will not stop anyone. No guest minister will be stopped. Come and open your mouth. Bolo Branica, Joko Brantele Kezo, Shene Menekusa, Shene Menekusa, Shene Menekusa, Kusa Libra, Zula Brasade, Sade, 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 Sade La Sado, Shaka Takita, Shopra Kazalego, Barente Liba. We stop the devil. We stop every satanic agenda, every demonic plan to hinder any guest speaker. We stop him now in the name of Jesus. We block Satan from hindering any of our guest speakers in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. As he was leading that prayer, I want us to pray. Satan will not hinder you. You will not be hindered from this conference. One of my daughter was admitted to hospital today. I told her in 24 hours, you are out of hospital. Satan will not hinder you. None of you will be on hospital bed next week. Are you ready to pray? Say, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, every satanic hindrance against my life be scattered. Be scattered in the name of Jesus. Open fire on the devil. Makaya bada rato kopale embreke fetete lake baya kambrekete zeto koli bada. My father, every satanic plot to hinder anyone coming from this conference, I arrest him now. I arrest the plan of the devil. I scatter their plan. I scatter. I scatter, I scatter, I scatter in the name of Jesus. Satan, you will not hinder. You will not hinder. You will not hinder anybody. You will not hinder anybody in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray. Everyone planning to come for this conference from all nations in Africa, from all nations of the world, they will not be hindered. Satan will hinder you from hindering them. In the name of Jesus, Mashate Kopalegede, Embraka Payada, Rabbe de Kesote, Eparade Kosomande, Mande Brande Koshataya. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Who's the next person on the line? Pastor Lily, are you ready? Amen. I say, Satan will not hinder you. My, this is my daughter in hospital today is the second one that the other one is the one that drank Red Bull. How can it be that it's now a week to conference? All these people are being admitted in hospital. You will not be admitted. I bind Satan from hindering you for this conference. He will not stop you. Not under this house. Anyone who has decided to come for this conference. People called me from Zambia. They are living on on Tuesday, some are leaving Thursday. People call from different nations in Africa. Swaziland are leaving on Monday. People are flying in from Cape Town, some from Port Elizabeth. Satan will not hinder anybody. Father, in the name of Jesus, we place a decree and an embargo on Satan and declare concerning Excel 2024, Satan will hinder you today 
we stop you today we block you today you will not hinder anybody from coming in the name of Jesus put your hands together for the Lord Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Are we awake? Are we awake? We have come to pray. Let us stand up, let us stand up, let us stand up. Because it's very difficult to pray when you are sitting down. We're falling asleep. We are. We're falling asleep. So my responsibility tonight is to pray for the apostle of the house. And Mama B, clap your hands. We're going to pray for our father. Apostle Felix Oko, he's our daddy. And we're going to pray for Mama Bulelwa. Let me tell you, I asked this week, I said, Mama B, tell me, how do you get it right to be so honest? Every day you're writing something. When we open our eyes, we have written something. What is going on? But I said, Lord, I thank you for that grace that is upon that woman. For a time such like this. God knew that this is the time that you will need an administrator like that. That keep the fire burning. That keep us on our toes. That makes every day that we are thinking when we have to do things. So this day, I just want to thank the Lord for her. And I want to thank the Lord for my apostle. We're going to pray for apostle and we're going to thank the Lord for a apostle that has answered the call of God, that has said he will come to South Africa to come and be our father, to come and be our apostle, to come to be a man that is not ashamed to say, thus saith the Lord. He, he doesn't compromise the will of God. So we are going to pray for his protection because it's not everybody that is excited when he is preaching like that. He's not everybody that is excited when he speaks the truth. He is not everybody that is excited when he opens his mouth and says, Thus saith the Lord. So we are going to pray for their protection. It is Mama B and Apostle. They are the host of this conference. They are the host of this conference. And the enemy is where he is. He's thinking, what is it that I can do to those two people? But we are here tonight to come and pray for them. Let's come before the Lord. I want us to preach, to pray one scripture first. One John nine verse 15, verse nineteen. One John five, verse nineteen. That's the first scripture that we're going to read. It says, "Is it happy?" Okay. We know that we are children of God. And that the whole world is under the control of the evil one. We know also that the Son of God has come and has given us understanding so that we may know in who, who is true. And we are in him who is true by being in his Son, Jesus Christ. He is the true God and the eternal life. The Word of God says we know that this, this world is wicked. The world lies in wickedness. It means wherever we go, there is wickedness. Wherever we go, there is wickedness. But we, the children of God, are conscious of that. We understand, even as we are here, that the enemy is planning. That this whole world is under his control. This whole world is under his influence. It means they are planning that, you see, this conference will not happen. Or things in the conference should go wrong. Oh, something should happen to our apostle. Oh, something to happen to our mother. It shall not be so. It will not happen. Because we are here to come and intercede. We are coming to stand in the gap. Let's go to the second scripture before we, we pray. It's second Thess Thessalonians. Second Thessalonians 3, verse 1 up to 5. Let's read it. Let's preach me up there. For as for other matters, brothers and sisters, pray for us that the message of the Lord may spread rapidly and be honored just as it was with you. Next one. And pray that we may be delivered from wicked and evil people. For not everyone 
Yes, please. That is why we're going to pray, Lord, deliver our apostle, our daddy, our father, and must, 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 Mama Bulelua from evil. The other, the other scriptures say from wicked men, from unreasonable men. So we are going to ask the Lord, Lord, we pray this evening that you will deliver our apostle and Mama B from unreasonable people, from wicked and evil people, from the onslaught of the enemy, from what the enemy wants to do. You will deliver them. You will be their height. You will, you will protect them. That is what we pray. My Father, we come this evening. We pray for our apostle and we pray for Mama Pulera. Lord, they are the host, my Father, of this conference. And Father, your word says, my Father, let you, you will deliver them from unreasonable men. You will deliver them from wicked men. You will deliver them from evil men. My Father, no evil shall befall them. No calamity shall come near their dwelling. Lord, we pray, my Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you will deliver them, that you will set them free. My Father, from every evil of the enemy, Lord, my Father, unre unreasonable people, my Father, that will come and stand against him. Father, we pray that you will deliver them, that you will set them free. Deliver them, Lord. Deliver them, Lord. From unreasonable men, my father and wicked men. My father, God, that is plotting against them. My father, that is plotting against them. My father, that are planning, my father, to do evil. They are planning to do unrighteousness against them. But it shall not be so, Lord. It shall not happen because you are God Almighty. Robo Gosi and Rabba Gosi and Rabba Gosi, or Rabba Gosi and Rabba Gosi and Rabba Gosi and Rabba Gosi and We pray for your protection. We cover them under the blood of Jesus. We pray for a hedge of protection that will surround them. My Father, we pray, Lord, my Father, that your hand shall continuously be upon their life. Even Lord, for my peace, life, Lord, wherever she is, we pray that your hand. Be upon the life. Rebe Kosian Rabakosite. Rebe Kosianda. We pray for your protection, Lord. My father against the onslaught of the evil one. My father, because this world lies in wickedness. My father all over this wickedness. But my father, you say, my father, that you will deliver them. You will set them free. My father, you will deliver them. Robo Kosian Rabakosite Rebe Kosianda. Robo Kosian Rebe Kosianda. Deliver them, Lord. Deliver them from the onslaught of the enemy. Deliver them, Lord, from unreasonable men. Deliver them from wicked men. Deliver them from evil men, Lord. Because this world, my Father, is full of wickedness. We pray for your protection. Robo Koshi and Rabba Koshi and them. We pray for their family. We pray for their children. We pray for their properties. We pray for everything, Lord, that concerns them. That your hand shall be upon their life, Lord. My Father, Lord, that the blood of Jesus will speak for them, Lord. That the blood of Jesus will speak for them. That your angels will encamp around them, Lord. My Father, we will not hear any bad news. We will not hear anything, Lord, from this family. The Oak of family, Lord, is protected. No evil shall befall them. No calamity shall come near their dwelling. My Father, you will protect them. My Father, throughout this conference and forevermore. Robo Koshi and Rabba Koshi and Rabba Koshi and Robo Koshi and Rabba Koshi and Rabba Koshi and Rabba Koshi and Rabba Koshi and Deliver them, Lord. Deliver them, Lord, from every pitfall, from anything that the enemy is planning. It shall not happen to them, Lord. It shall not be so. Rokosi and Rabakosi and them. Rebekosi and Rabakosi and Rabakosi and them. Rokosi and Rabakosi and them. Your protection, Lord, over the family, Lord, over our apostle, over our daddy, over Mama B, my father and the unborn child, Lord. My father, preserve them. Preserve them. Preserve them, Lord, for your kingdom. For your lordship, Rebe Kosi and Rabba Kosi, Robo Kosi and Rabba Kosi and Rabba Kosi and Rebe Kosi and Rabba Kosi and Robo Kosi and Rabba Kosi and Rebe Kosi and Rabba Kosi and Let me thank you, my father. 
in the mighty name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Amen. It is very important that we pray for Apostle. Apostle is our father. He is the one that is teaching us. He is the one that makes sure that when he goes to bed, he prays for each and every one of us. He prays for all of us. He sacrifices his life when we are snoring and sleeping nicely. He is before the Lord. He is praying for us. So that is the reason why we should pray for him. We should pray for him and ask the Lord that, Lord, we pray for our apostle. That he shouldn't miss his, his purpose. He shouldn't miss with that what God has called him for. There must be no distractions from any way. There must be nothing that will derail him from what God has called him to be. He is the apostle of the land, and that is what God has called him to be. So there shall be nothing else that will pull him back. Lord, we pray this morning, Father, for your appointment. We pray, Lord, for his assignment. We pray, Lord, for that which you have. My Father, God called him to be, and that is what he will be. He will not miss it, my Father. You have called him as a man of God from South Africa, Lord. And Father, he will do your work. He will not miss it. My Father God, He will walk, my Father, in your purpose. He will walk in your plan. He will walk on that, my Father God, what you have done for Him. So we thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank the Lord. Yes. We need to pray for Him. We're going to pray one prayer. We're going to ask the Lord for His growth. Not that He's not grown. For His growth. That God must reveal deeper knowledge and understanding. Reveal unto him the secrets of what he wants. God must download in his life what it is, what he needs for South Africa. He must open it. He must shine a light on only that which you will see. That he can get it and he will run with it. And that is what God wants us to do. So we will pray for his growth. We will ask the Lord, Lord, we need a apostle to have the depth. The deeper, deeper depths of the Lord, where it is only the Spirit of the Lord that will unleash it and that will download it on his life, that he will be different from all other men that will come and talk. So we ask the Lord this afternoon, this evening, we're going to pray. We're going to ask the Lord, Lord, we need our apostle to walk in different dimensions. Dimensions, the Word of God says, there where no lion has ever walked and no, and no. We, and no eagle has gone. He can go there. Apostle, you can do that. God can lift you up to a place where no one has ever been there. Never he can lift you up. You can walk and run in those places because of the power and the anointing and the glory of God that he has bestowed upon your life. And it shall be so. It shall not be otherwise. So we thank you this morning. Okay? So we're going to pray this day. The scripture that we're going to read this day, it is, uh, we're going to pray for Apostles' prayer life. Apostles' prayer life, it is important because he prays, his prayer life impacts his leaders. He's got more than 60 leaders. Apostles' prayer life impacts his leaders and make his leaders to become what we are. We're growing under his leadership. We are growing under his leadership. We come in this place and then we don't even know what to do. But under him, let me tell you, Apostle know how to rebuke. Yes, he has rebuked me. He will rebuke you. He will counsel you. He will correct you. And he will pray for you. I was there and I know all of us need it. You cannot have a father that will be sugarcoating and saying everything that you do is right. No. He must tell you, you are wrong. That is the type of people that he is raising in this church. And he can only do that by the anointing and by the power and the wisdom of God. That God has bestowed upon his life. That he is able to raise men and women that can stand and say, Thus say the Lord, that is not afraid that know how to read the word of God and how to correctly preach the word of God. Morning. We love you very much. I know I'm one of the people that you rebuke very nice, but it is fine. Acts 4, Acts 6, verse 4. That is the reason.
reason why we need our apostle to pray for us. Acts 6 verse 4. But we will, but we will give ourselves continually to prayer. It means apostle and Mama B will give themselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. And why should they do that? The word of God says that they must rightfully divide the word of God. Huh? They must come with and know this is what the Lord says. They mustn't bite their feet, their tongues, because they don't know what does the word of God says. He said they must rightfully divide the word of God. That's why we will be praying for apostle. That apostle should give himself to continually to prayer and to the word. Because the word delivers us. The word set us free. The word aligns us. It is the word that is the final authority of the word of God. No other thing. We live and walk under the authority of the word of God. So that is one of the reasons why apostle need to read and pray daily. Second one, Second Timothy 2 verse 15. Second Timothy 2 verse 15. Study to show thyself a proof unto God. That is what it is, Apostle. The word of God say, you must study and show yourself a proof unto the Lord. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed. That when you mount this pulpit, we that sit there are not saying, oh, I wonder what this Apostle is saying. No, the word of God says a workman that is not the same, rightly dividing the word of truth. It means you bring the word of God crystal clear. When you bring it to us, we can hear it when you come and speak. That is the reason why we need to pray for apostle that he must pray. The last scripture, Hebrews 13, verse 17. Hebrews 13, verse 10. Obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourselves for they watch for your souls as they must give account that they do, that they may do it with joy and not with grief, for that is unprofitable for you. Do you understand what the scripture say? He says we must, we must obey Apostle Felix Oko and Mama Bulelo Oko. You know why God will keep him accountable for my soul, for your soul, if he didn't do that which God has said to him he must do. And it says it is not profitable for us when he cannot do his work properly, when he is angry at us, when he feels that this is not the type of church that I want to run. But we must obey him because he is going to have an account before God for my soul, for your soul. So you know it now that he is going to be responsible for my soul and for your soul. That's why it is important for you to pray for him that he stay and walk with the Spirit of the Lord. Let's go before the Lord and ask the Lord why. We pray for him that he must stay and read the word of God. That he must have an understanding from the word of God. That the spirit of the Lord will direct him. The spirit of the Lord will lead him. When he comes and he comes to us, he has been in front of the Lord. And because he will be responsible before God for our souls. Apostle, that is what the word of God says. It says you will be responsible for our souls. But also... We must make it easy for apostles to lead us. Let's go before the Lord and pray. My Father, there is a charge upon apostle and Mama Bulelwa, Lord. My Father, there is a charge that you have put over them, Lord. My Father, that you expect them, my Father God, to read the word of God. They must give themselves to prayer. They must get themselves, Lord, to the word. My Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, because my Father, you will keep them responsible for our souls, Lord. My Father, Lord, let me pray that we as the people, my Father, we will be able to obey them. We will submit to them. We will do what they want us to do. My Father, because of that, we have put upon his life that, Lord, my Father, he is responsible for our souls this morning. And we pray, Lord, we pray for your grace upon their life. We pray for the grace upon him and upon my father God, Master Bulelwa. My father, we pray for them. Lord, that they will lead. My father God, Lord, and we will not grieve them. We will not grieve them.
them, Lord. We will enable them to do your work. My Father, because that is what you expect for us. So we pray for them. Robo Bosian, Robo Bosian, Robo Bosian, Robo Bosian. Let me thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Can I pray a prayer for my, my, for my Pastor Bulelo? Can I pray a prayer for her? Is it okay? Okay, let's pray for her. It's the last prayer, don't worry. It's the, it's the last prayer. <laughs> okay, we're going to pray for our mother, Pastor Bulelo Oko. And I love the scripture. Habakkuk 3 verse 9. Oh, I love the scripture. Get it there for us. Habakkuk 3 verse 9. Let's pray the scripture for our mother. Our mother. Pastor Bulela Oko. Let's bring her before the Lord and pray for her. Ah, 19. Habakkuk 3 verse 19. And you must give it to me in the amplified version. It sounds better. And it reads better. Yes, there it is. The Lord God is my strength. That is what she must say every day. That the Lord God is her strength. My personal bravery and my invincible army. He makes my feet like the hind's feet and will make me to walk, not to stand till terror, but to walk and make me spiritual progress upon my high places of trouble, of suffering, and my responsibility. That is what it says. We were going to pray for her. That Lord, we pray that you will make Pastor Bulelua's feet like the feet of a deer. A deer is the only one that can walk on the mountains. It means God must strengthen them. God must enable her. God must embrace her. That she will not falter and fail where other people fail. But she will walk. She will stand in a calling. She will stand in that which of God has called her to be. That is what we're going to call to ask the Lord to do for her. Lord, we pray that you will embrace this mighty woman of God. That could take out the call to can lead us as women. We women are strong women in this place. Because of the power of Pastor B, we are praying. So let's call. I know she must just, she must just lock on and see that all the women has prayed for her. That God must strengthen her. Her and David, no house for that matter. Okay, let's go before the Lord. My Father, we just want to thank you. We pray for our mother, Pastor Bulelwa Oko. My Father, that you are her strength. You are her personal bravery. You are her invincible army. It means you protect the Lord. Wherever she walks, that invincible army is there. You strengthen her. You make her fit like the feet of a deer. My father, she will not falter. She will not fail. My father, she will be established. My father, in a calling, the calling that you have called her. My father, the purpose for which you have called her. My father, she will finish it. My father, she will do it. My father, I pray. You are her strength. You are her provider. My father, you are God Almighty. That watch over her. That watch over David. We pray, Lord, my Father God, that you are God Almighty. And my Father, you will be strong in the name of Jesus. And we thank you. Amen. Thank you, Apostle. I am finished. Pastor Victor. Hallelujah. Amen. You are blessed all in Jesus' name. May God bless you for coming out this morning. Your prayers are answered in the mighty name of Jesus. Dad, I just want to thank you. I want to honor you and mom. May God bless you for this opportunity. You know, whenever I see dad, it always reminds me of my future. The way he is, is the way I will be when I get to you. You know. <laughs> Uh, 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 well, I think it was on Saturday I finished leading prayer. One of us here, who is a pastor, is a man of God, he came to me and said, when you stand here, I see that in you. I said, thank God for that. Amen. We are praying. 
We're not wasting much of our time. We're praying for protection, divine protection on the roads and every means of transportation for our members and the attendees, those that will be attending the conference, that there will be no accident Amen. on the road. Amen. So we are going to pray. Whatever that the enemies have planned to sabotage this conference by accident, we will nullify it this morning in the name of Jesus. We don't have too much of our time. Give us Psalm 121, verse 5 to 8. Psalm 121, verse 5 to 8. Psalm 121. It says, the Lord is thy keeper. Somebody say amen. amen. God will keep you. In the name of Jesus. He said, the Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. He said, the sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon smite thee by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. From this day, God will protect you. No plans of the enemies to sabotage you on this conference will come to pass. Whatever they have planned for anyone on the air, on the land, by the blood of Jesus will cancel it. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, we come against every form of accident, unforeseen, dangers in all our ways during this conference. In the name of Jesus, we scatter every accident plotted against this conference. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and begin to pray. Father, we come against every form of accident, unforeseen dangers in all our ways during this conference in the name of Jesus Jeko pata liko prata elento zike preketo ishaka pata katosa jeke prente ke likato rebrasa katwa jeko para katia regeto zike prete jako parata eso prente ke petia riproko patwata eshenta ke parata regeto zabrata iko panti keto rebrasa Katwate, we scatter every accident plotted against anyone coming for this conference by the power of the Holy Ghost. We destroy it in the name of Jesus. Jacobati Kato, every plans of the enemies to sabotage this conference by accident. Lord, we nullify it in the mighty name of Jesus. Jate prosakatia, reprekato sakapatia. Zakapeto kopata kato, ishako pata kate, iko paranti kaya to, ishako pati kate, iko praka to kopaka to, zakaprenta kapete, iko pranto librosiha, masaka to shantiha, rekapeto sabra kato, ile prenta shaliga branti ata, masaka to kopaka to sekete, sobranti ako to, zaka to kopaka to, ile to seke preke to shantiha, rekato Saka prakato kopalata iso pranti ante sente zaku parata masaka dega prakete kaparanto sakatuate zaku parati ha Father we nullify every accident been planned against this conference we nullify it zaku parati ha lepro zaka pato ha zepre kato kopati kiti ha masaka dega 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 lepro zanti ya tobra ha kato ha epayan Zebra kete, zeke petu santi ha, reko pranta kato shate, reprosi ya katwa ha, abinto zebra ketu suku pranta, bako shate, leprosante te pete, ikapanta ta, unforeseen dangers, Lord we scatter them. Asekete librosi yoko pati ha jeko para katosa ilande jeke preketo koto librosi kapati yante masekete kete kete iko pata rabasi yata masekete ke prekete iko para katosha ta represo ko prakadi yakato ika para takete iko para katosanti ha masepranto si preketi yate 
Rico Paracatosha, Reprosoco Paracatosha, Ileprosiketo Copracato, Ibrete Zecapecato, Masiketecate, Imante Gente Robosia, Regeprosacato Shata, Pretosi Capatu Secaprete, Ico Parantaia, Masaka de Gebracade, Ico Paracoto Shapracato, Ico Parate. Masaka de Gebrenta, Liprosica Parata, Masaka de Galagada, Kibranto Sata, Ecoparanta Pasicato, Ecoparanta Sata, in Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' mighty name. We are praying. Isaiah, um, Psalm 41, verse 2, Psalm 41. We are going to pray for every member of House of Treasures and everyone that is attending this conference. Psalm 42. Psalm 41 verse 2 said, The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive. God will keep you alive. And he shall be blessed upon the earth. You shall be blessed. From this conference, you shall be blessed. He said, And he shall be blessed upon the earth. And thou will not deliver him unto the will of his enemies. God will not deliver you unto the will of your enemies. In the name of Jesus. Every plan, every will of the enemies against them, every members of us of treasures, it will not happen. And every will of the enemies to stop those that is coming for this conference, it will not happen. The Bible says in Psalm 118, verse 17, it says, I shall not die, but I shall live to declare the works of the Lord. No one will die during this conference. None of your family members will die during this conference. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and say, Father, take charge. And control over our road against every forces of darkness that will rise up against this conference. Father, preserve my life. Father, preserve the life of every member of House of Treasure and those attending this conference. Oh God, accident. It's not my portion. Accident is not our portion. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray. Zakapeto, Jacapata Katokoto, Imande Sebre Ketuset, Jacapere Katosa, Maseketo, Yendo Sibrata, Ekaparato, Ekaparakato Soto, Leprosiate, Lord, preserve our lives. Preserve the life of every member of House of Precious. Lord, preserve the life of those coming for this conference in the name of Jesus. Preserve our lives. Masekete, Japarata, Elebrosi Katwate, Ikoparakato, Jakepelekete. Lord, preserve our lives. Eplantosi Katwa, Jakepete. There will be no death in this conference. In the name of Jesus, we cancel everyone that has been marked for death by the blood of Jesus. We reverse it. Japakato Zebreheketua, Repete Sokoplata, Ikopantete Parikatosa, Eplantos Ikaparata, Masopronto Shapila Katosa, Ibayanto Zebreketusa, Eprantos Akapato Shatia, no accident, no death during this conference. Abito Sebreketu, Baranta Shanti Keto, Eprantas Sapakato, Rebrosia, Eprantos Ebeketosia, Rabada da 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 I cobranto shatoto, I cobranto cobracato, I cobranto, I caparata, I caparatia, represo copati casoto, I leprosia catomana masate, represia copatia coto, Esu copari cato shate, repeto sabrato, Masicata cata, I pronto, Jacata cata, Riprosi catua, Riprasia pato. Reke perakatia, masekete, leprosi katwa, ebranto shanta, emasakatwa te, rikoto sokoto, 
Kaparatata, Masakatakata, Eco Bracato Coyogodo, Eca Papa Rabasi Catuata, Eco Branto Chantela Brosia, Ali Brosi Caparatia, Emanta Supra Catica, Ebrando Chali Brosa, Capato Santa, Yaso, Eleno Santa Bracata, Eca Paranto Chantile Brosia. Paranda Shaka Prosikato, Ibranta Supreka to Sikitia, Rekado Saka da 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 e pranta sata, e pranta sata, e pranto si caprato, e copranto chate, e copracato si cate, e copranto chate le brosia, e caparacato si acatoa, le pento chatata, e copranto si caprecate, e copparacapato, e coprante se precatiate, e rapo sopra acato. E caparia de se quebracata, e comprando sia, repeto chacapato, represo que sia, in Jesus mighty name. In Jesus name, the Lord has heard us. We are praying, Acts chapter 27, verse 22. Acts 27, 22. Acts 27, 22. The Bible says, and I exhort you. To be of good cheer, for there shall be no loss of any man's life among you. In Jesus' name, there shall be no loss of life. There shall be no loss of any car. I want us to take this prayer serious. That there will be no theft in this compound during this conference. This is one prayer that I've taken serious this week. Because each time there is conference, the devil wants to sabotage us by somebody stealing a car. And I pray, Lord, this time, let the person die by that spot of stealing that car. We are going to pray. And I pray this seriously. God is my witness. That whoever that will come here to steal car, as he touched the car, that was talking of Holy Ghost, what? Ikbai. God, give Ikbai. Let God hammer the person, Holy Ghost, Ikbai. Let the person die there. Anyone that will come to steal, may God strike them to death. That there will be no loss of life, no loss of car, no loss of property in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, there shall be no loss of life, there shall be no loss of cars, there shall be no loss of valuables in the name of Jesus. Let the Holy Ghost strike them down that we enter here to steal car, may they die. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray. Jokopa, elebrasia, reketo satia, masekete, ribrasia kato, jakapeketo, masikete, reketo sagada dada, elebrasia te, rikodo shake brakete, eka pa 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 pa, reketo sarabadia, reketo sagada, jaketo kato, ribrasia kato. Esekete kete kete, lebrosi eketwa, shakopata, elabrosi kete, iende lebrosi ate, ikobarato sata, ikobrakato. There shall be no loss, no loss of life, no loss of car, no loss of valuables. In the name of Jesus, shakete, lebrosi eketwa, rekete shake brakete, ikapapara basi eketwa te. Zefele koto eka parate jek to si prantia reketo sakato ashante ne mesi ketia rigodo siato eka papa reketo sege brakete iko prato shate masi kete 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 riprosi akato jakopa le prosi ante masi kete kaparato si prakatia riproso kopate. Reprosso kapata, reprosso tiete, maseke teke te, reprosi akapato, jeke pete, reprosi akoto, reke de 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 de, rabado shabrakato, 
in Jesus mighty name in the name of Jesus we are praying Nehemiah chapter 4 verse 11 Nehemiah chapter 4 verse 11 the Bible says and our adversary said they shall not know who told you we will not know he said they shall not know neither see till we come in the midst among them and slay them and cause the works to see somebody say God forbid we are going to pray against satanic agents. When there are conferences like this, the enemies also send their own people. They send people to come and do their own things. When the preachers and everything is going on, they are doing their own activity. We are praying judgment on any satanic agent that will be sent against this conference to come and operate. May their term, whatever, never work in the name of Jesus. Any agent of Satan that they send to this place, if the person don't repent here, he will not live here. You know, they said, they shall not see. Not all of us are blind though. We see you when you come. But we are giving you opportunity to repent. But if they don't want to repent, Holy Ghost, fire! In the name of Jesus, we are praying, lift up your voice and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree judgment of fire on every agent of satan agent of darkness sent into this conference to disrupt this conference let the judgment fire fall upon them in the name of jesus lift up your voice and pray Judgment of fire against every satanic agent, against this conference, a chantel ibrosia, a capa, zapelito, a zapeketo, zacaprocoto, a capa, a papa, a copra canto selegade, a copra to coyota, a capa parabasicate, a copra tecate, a copra to jacatecate. I comprate, zakete kete kete, riprosi akatwa, zakete, riprosi katwa ta, masake dage li komprasi ya, roka dago 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 dago, eka para basi katwa ta, eka para basa kada dada, reke dos zake braka de, reke dos zake dada di ya prosi ya, elende zabranto. Lord, judgment of fire against the priest and the agent assigned against this conference. A sopra, a shakopa tokoto, a kapa papa papa, a kapa papa rabasi katwa, a kapa do shakatwa, a kapa do sekete, a kapa do sokopa kadia, masekete kebrekedo, a kapa ratiata. 
name of Jesus we are praying against every arrow of the enemy every arrow that they will fire against this conference will reverse it and arrow can come in different form arrow can come by distraction arrow comes in different form just to sabotage the conference we are praying that every arrow that the enemies have fired may God reverse it we reverse it in the name of Jesus Psalm 64 verse 7. Psalm 64. Psalm 64 verse 7. Psalm 64. Psalm 64. The Bible says, but God shall shoot at them with an arrow. So God also shoot arrow. We are going to pray every arrow that they have shot against anyone. Arrow of death. Arrow of sickness. Arrow of confusion. Arrow of distraction. May God reverse that arrow and fire it back to them. The Bible says, and God, but God shall shoot them with an arrow. Suddenly, they shall be what? They shall be wounded. Father, every satanic arrow against this conference, against anybody, we reverse that arrow. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, every arrow of the enemy fired against this conference, we reverse it. Lord, shoot them with your arrow in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray. Shaka peta ile dosa katwata ekaparata rigodo segada riko prakati kata ila gada 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 shaka tokoto ekaparata liko prakata rigodo sata. Father, we reverse every arrow of the enemy. We fire it back to sender. We command it back to sender. We fire them. Their arrow back to sender. In the name of Jesus. We fire it back to sender. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Our last prayer. We are praying. Exodus chapter 12, verse 13. Exodus chapter 12, verse 13. Exodus 12, 13. It says, and the blood shall be unto you for a token upon their houses we are going to plead the blood of Jesus on every cast that will be coming to this conference that there will be no accident we are pleading the blood of Jesus in this environment that no activity of the enemies will take place lift up your voice and say Father we cover every attendee the speakers and every members of house of treasures and their cars with the blood of Jesus father we cover this property with your blood in the name of Jesus no harm shall befall us no harm shall befall us in the name of Jesus lift up your voice and pray Zote. Ela kato sata, jeku preketu sekete, ela basu te preketi, zika pato chantele brosia, ezeketo kopata, ezuke pertu kopata, ezeketo kato. Ya dama kapalam broko tumbele gedos, lati baye kemenem frege belekete. Father, in the name of Jesus, we plead the blood of Jesus over our lives. We plead the blood of Jesus over this property. We plead the blood of Jesus over every car. There shall be no accident. There shall be no loss of life. We plead the blood of Jesus over our children. We plead the blood over everyone coming for this conference. We plead the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. And everyone say, Amen. Put your hands together for the Lord. Amen. Church, listen. Let me encourage you. 
please understand that every play, prayer you are praying is kingdom prayers. This is what it means to seek God first. And all the things the Gentiles are pursuing will seek after you. Are you here, church? So don't be discouraged that, ah, they haven't prayed for my bread. Your bread is covered in this prayer. As you are seeking God for others and the kingdom, I promise you, your needs are met. Say amen to that. We are continuing in the prayer. I want us to pray um, for the conference and, and particularly in terms of people that will be attending this conference. The Bible says in, um, in the book of Acts chapter, chapter 9 and verse 34. Acts chapter 9 verse 34 and then verse 35. The Bible says, And Peter said unto him, Aeneas, Jesus Christ, maketh thee whole. Arise, make your bed. And he arose, went immediately. There will be miracles in this conference. Miracle signs and wonders. Every man of God, as they stand here, and the word of God proceed from their mouth, it will be confirmed with miracle signs and wonders. Are you ready to pray? Lift up your voice, say, Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus, we believe you today and we release our faith for miracles, for signs, and for wonders. In the name of Jesus, in Excel 2024, confirm every word preached with signs and wonders. In Jesus' name, open your mouth and begin to bed prayer. Maketum balika brando kosa, embaraka tayada brande kete, reto veleke brande ke felika dosi, brake fate ke belika taya, mambra dos ke brane ke veleka mba, abala kambre ke tosa balanti, mande vreke tika la baratwa, aske veleme ne ke felika dosi, brate kosha la bantwa, embreke te ke zavala baranti, mengre fisha kapale gene mente, embreki valanta, la kabara ke tembreki valamanto, brate kosha tayada ba, my Father, in the name of Jesus, confirm your word preached with miracles, signs, and wonders. We pray, Father, for miracles. We pray for signs. We pray for wonders. My God, let everyone experience a miracle in Excel 2024 conference. Let everyone experience signs and wonders in their lives. In the name of Jesus, confirm your word preached with signs and wonders following in the name of Jesus reto basika balatwa raske veleke prende gebeliate rekamba de gebrondo kotos mande ke yada braga bayata le paraga yada brande kete thank you lord jesus in the name of jesus now look at the next verse verse 35 says and all that dwelt in Lida and Sharon saw him and did what they turned to the lord we are going to pray all that dwell in, the, in Johannesburg will attend this conference. God will pull them into this place. Paul was preaching one day. The Bible says almost the whole city came to hear the word of God. That will be the portion of this conference. People will tend to the Lord in massive numbers. Uh -uh, your amen, your amen. Listen, this is one of God's heart's desire. You know this kind of prayer? You are blessing God. You know, the other prayers people pray, give me this. You are asking God to bless you. This time, you are reversing the matter. And now you are blessing God. Because this is one of God's greatest value that men be saved. So we are going to pray. Lord, we are praying for men and women in their thousands to come to the Lord. Let God draw men by the Spirit of God into this conference. My God, people will be coming here. You know, like they say in our conference, a man of God was saying, he said, in 35 years of this nation, I saw for the first time in a conference, people were queuing. He said, I have not seen that in South Africa in 35 years. These were the words of Bishop uh, Apostle Eden Constance. He said, in 35 years in South Africa, he said, I've been part of the move of God in this nation. It was my first time in 35 years to see people queue up, spiral. He says, I saw queue. I was shocked. 
it will happen twice more than that. Say amen, somebody. Let them come. Lord, pull them in their thousands. Pull souls here. We want souls. We are hungry for souls the same way God is hungry for them. Let God draw them by his spirit. Are you ready to pray? Say, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, every soul in this city, by the spirit of God, we compel them to come for excel. 2024. We compel them in the spirit. We pull them in the spirit. We press them in the spirit. We call them in the spirit to come for excel 2024. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray. Mande Krubada Brandaga Bayada Bradagana Redo Balikem Breketos Rade Baseke Brekepelegedes Manda Brada Yada Bambaragada Yada Brandegede My Father in the name of Jesus My Father we compel them We pray Father for every single soul in South Africa Every single individual in Johannesburg My Father we compel them to come we pray, Father, that by your spirit, you will blow men into this place. You will drive men into this place. You will pull men into this conference. In Excel 2024, from 23rd of, of, April, of April to the 28th of April, we decree and declare that men and women are called by the spirit into this place. We blow the shofar in the spirit. We sound an alarm in Johannesburg and we summon men by the spirit of God we summon men and women in their thousands into this place in the name of Jesus Christ Mashete Kalibado Embrate Kosekete Belegeros Mande Brande Kosa Brandaya Embrata Kabaya da Bondekate Rate Baseke Freketos Rate Beseke Freke Belegeros Embrate Koseke Nebalegeros Embrata Kapajanda Bragada Le Paragabaya Namande My Father we summon men in their thousands we compel them to come. We call them in the spirit. We call every household. We call them in the spirit. We summon them to come here. We summon them for Excel conference. Everyone that saw the flyer, we summon them to come. Everyone that saw the advert, we summon them to come. We compel them in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name. Acts chapter 11 and verse 21. Acts chapter 11 and verse 21. Come on, quickly. Acts 11 and verse 21. And the hand of the Lord was with them. Read the last sentence. And a great number did what? Believe and did what else? Turn to the Lord. We are going to pray for massive salvation of souls. I'm talking massive, crusade kind of salvation of souls. Amen, somebody. Church, that's what God is looking for. When we finished ownership conference, the first uh, foundation class we had, where is Dickiness Sue? She sent me the record. She says, Daddy, we had 350 people that came for foundation class that gave their life to Christ in ownership conference. Church, let me tell you, these conferences are not a waste of money. No matter what we invest in these conferences, it is worth it. Church, I don't know where you will buy the soul of 200, 350 men and women. Jesus said, there is nothing in this world to be compared to one soul. He said, how shall a man gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Meaning that your soul is more important, more valuable than all the mines in South Africa. Are you here, church? So we are going to pray for massive salvation of souls. If I were you, this is the place to stand up and call upon the name of the Lord. And say, Lord, let there be... Because this is the kind of prayer that God knows whether you have a desire for the kingdom. God, let there be massive, humongous salvation. When altar calls are made, this place will be jammed of souls. Are you here, church? Say, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, let your hand be released upon this conference and let a great number, a great multitude... Believe in the Lord.
and let them tend to the Lord in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Rateko sebele kambalato, embrata kabaya da branda gada, repado koso preke belegadesh. My Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray, Father, for the massive salvation, the massive salvation of souls. The Bible says, and the hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number believed and tend to the Lord. Father, release your hand upon Excel Conference 2024 and let a great number believe and let multitudes tend to the Lord. Let a great number believe and let multitudes tend to the Lord. In the name of Jesus, Mandele rebo show de menegeres rebados que breke felegeros embraca payada branda dada rate bachete bregero embreke te que liga bragada ya rebado sabre que peligada embreke te que se que te la que ta pronto con delicados recapada ya de brenegeres rede pede que prende que te rate capayada branda gado mande corre pe sombre que delegeres Rabba ba 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 shada bragada e prade kose ke brakete la parade ke se prende ke tos my father in the name of Jesus let the hand of the Lord be released upon Excel Conference 2024 and let a great number of oh God souls believe let a great multitude of people turn to the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ sheto koti kado e rebado ke brake tos nande brake palegeros. Rada bada yada brana da 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 da, mashada baya na mana gada. Embrete kese kete breke tos, nendo boko sombre kete le breke tos. Embrete kese kete bredi ali gada, le brete kese sombre kete le gade. Mande de boko shen de breke tos le brede de de, mande de 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 boko to breke tos. Embrete kose kete bana yada brana. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, Church, I want you to know that every member of this ministry that God has ordained are living here in this nation. Hello? Every politician God has ordained to be in this church, they are here in this nation. Every billionaire God has ordained to be here, they are in this nation. They are not anywhere else. We are going to summon everyone whose destiny is tied to this ministry let them be compelled to come here anyone your husbands listen many years ago how many of you remember pastor tunji raise your hand you remember pastor tunji so my wife met a colored woman in the shopping mall preached to them and invited them to church I was preaching on Wednesday when she, a Wednesday service in the chapel in Taba when she gave her life to Christ. Brought her children the next Sunday. The two kids gave their life to Christ. That, those two kids, one of them is the wife of Pastor Tunji today. Now, just wait, ho, 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 ho. Imagine if my late wife did not invite her to church. Pastor Tunji may be married to the wrong woman. You are not hearing me. Your husbands need to come here. Your wives need to come. We are going to raise prayer. Everyone God has ordained to be here, we summon them in this conference. Everyone that's a member of this church, every politician, every billionaire, every millionaire, every sinner, every assassin, every arm robber that God has ordained to be a member of this church, let God arrest them in this season and bring them to this conference. Are you hearing me, church? Say, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, everyone, every single soul you have ordained as a member of this ministry whose destiny is tied to house of treasures. Father, in this season, we summon them to come. We call them to come. We command your angels to bring them into this house. We release the fire of God to pull them in this place. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray. Mande koshate kalabada, lebrado ke sopra ke bayada, mande brete ke shekete balagados, 
embrete que se quembre que te nande baraga bara branda gaya da bragada mande brote que sopre que te legeros embroto cochete que liga bragada nende brakete que siga bragadosi rade baba ba mama mama de le bregedos reda bosse que breki falate nento broko chembe que te lavada mande de boche breke to le bregedes reda baya da brande que se braga baya da gados embre que to cose que breke tos Masaka ya da brada gada, embre te ke se ke braga da yene mene gede. Raba ba 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 she te braga dos, embre te ke si ka brande ke le ka braga da. Rabe te ke brande ka ya da brana gados. Father, in the name of Jesus, everyone in this city, everyone in this nation, whose destiny is tied to House of Treasures, whose destiny is tied to this place, my Father, we pray that you pull them right now, draw them by your Spirit. We compel them to come here. Every politician, my God, every sinner, every assassin, every arm robber, every witch, every wizard, my God, whose destiny is tied to this ministry, we summon them in the name of Jesus. We compel them to come. We command them to come in the name of Jesus. We release them from the hand of the wicked. Mashete kebedosa, embrata kabaya da brakada. Mande boke rebe sobre kedos, reba dosse ke brekete, la peraga baya da brande ketos, randa baya ka baranda bragada, mande de de boche ne mene kedos, embrata ke base ke brekete. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, we are going to pray. Give me the book of Acts chapter 15 and verse 26. Acts chapter 15 and verse 26. Oh, I want God to raise radical men in this conference. Not ordinary people, radical. The Bible says men that have hazarded their lives for the name of our Lord Jesus. That is the kind of people God will raise in this conference. Men who will hazard their life, their life will matter to them. When it comes to Jesus, they put their life aside. We are, our life is too much for God to bless us. You must empty yourself of yourself. I told you, say, listen, I have worked with God now for almost 32 years of my life. There is something I discovered about God. That until you die to something, God will not give it to you. God only gives you what you are dead to. That means you will look at that thing. Other people are regarding it and you, for you is nothing. You are not hearing me. God will not give, if you are still dying for some of these things, God will not give it to you. When they don't matter to you, that's when God give it. The reason why many people are not married yet is because he, God knows if you marry a man now, you will worship him. Amen. You marry a woman, you will stop church for him. Amen. You know how many people have done that? After their wedding, they start speaking phonetics. I'm telling you. You call them, where are you? You know, I, I, I'm taking care of my husband. Eh? The one you've been praying for. You are now taking care of him outside of God. Church, that's how many of us are. Until you die to something. Let me tell you. I, I, I've told you this story before. I told you guys I was, when my late wife passed, there was such a vacuum in my life that I was desperate for it to be filled. Can I be honest? I was desperate. And so, I got, started, you know, you start searching here and there. And eventually, I met someone who I don't want you to know forever, in Jesus' name. And we started talking. You know, we would go out for dinners, go out for lunch, we would talk. One day, God showed me a vision and showed me expressly that that's not my wife and the mother of this church. I remember after I had that vision, I went into prayer for seven days fasting. And I said to God, I will never look for a wife again. Ever. I, Felix Oko, I said to God, I will never look for a wife again. Whoever you have prepared for me, bring him to me. Or bring her to me. Amen. That was it. That simple prayer 
let your pastor Bulelo be here. God saw that in my heart, the desperation was gone. It was gone. This thing that we are desperate for things, let it go. The only desperation you must have is for God. Say amen, somebody. So in this conference, Father, raise men who will hazard their life for Christ. And, and you see, when you hazard your life for Christ, God will protect you. Because he sees that you are ready to give him all. You are ready. God knows that many of the things I preach, I am stirring up anger in the realm of darkness. But what will he do? He will protect me. He will send his angels. He will get people to pray for me. People to give me prophecy. Just, just like that. God will just send people, destiny help us. Not in terms of giving me things, but in prayer. People will just take me up in their prayer. One man of God said, one day God woke him up and said, your assignment, he pastors another church. He's not a member here. He said, God told him, your assignment is to pray for Apostle Felix. That's his assignment. He goes to the mountain three days to pray for me. I didn't ask him. God told him. And he came to my office and told me he has to obey God. May God raise you, people for, like that for you. It's church, you don't understand. When we say you hazard your life for Christ, don't think that you are losing anything. No. Rise up on your feet. Father, in this conference, raise men that will hazard their life for Christ. This comfortable Christianity, me, I'm over with it all. We need men who are ready to die for the kingdom. Who will give up anything for the sake of the kingdom. Who will give up anything for souls. Who will give up anything to make sure that souls are won. Men that will hazard their life. Give up their finances. Give up their time. Give up whatever they are. They are accolades. There are people today who are not serving in this church because they think they are too high. They think that they have so much I'm a doctor, I'm a professional, so I can't serve. We need to get rid of that. We need men. Who is ready to pray that prayer? Say, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, in this season, raise men and women in house of treasures that will hazard their life for the sake of Christ, for the sake of the gospel, in the name of Jesus. And let me be a part of those men in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and pray. Mashate kalabada. Mande brodege sobraga bayana managada. Father, in the name of Jesus, in this season, raise men and women that will hazard their life for the cause of Christ. Men and women that are ready to give up, to give up anything to advance the gospel. In the name of Jesus, Lord, give, give us men, raise us men, raise people in this house that will hazard their life for the sake of Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, Mande Kosha de Galibados, Embrekete Kosa Grabanda Bragadaya, Mande Breketo Seke Breketesh, Mande Karabada Brande Geleberi Aramada, Mashada Baba Baman and the Gelebaragados, Embreto Koseke Braketos, Rade Bada Yada Branda Gabaya da Ganabada, Nebra Doko Shoto Brekata Kaligados, Mande de Debo Shenemene Gebragada, Mande Yada Brande Geberi Aramada Branagadas. Maseke ye de breketos, rebato seke bredi ale branda gaya, mande brade goso preke belagades, masaya da banagada. Father, in the name of Jesus, in the season, oh God, raise men and women out of this house that will hazard their life for the sake of Christ, for the cause of the gospel, for the sake of the kingdom. They will hazard their lives. They will give up anything for the sake of the gospel. Raise men and women and give them a heart. My Father, for the cause of Christ, in the name of Jesus, my God, I pray that I'm among those that you are raising. I am among them, men and women. Lord, that I will give up anything for the cause of Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' precious name. Somebody shout amen. Give me the book of uh, Acts chapter 18 and verse 9. Acts chapter 18, verse 9. We're going to read verse 9 and 10. 
Then spake the Lord to Paul. When? In the night by a vision. And said what? Be not afraid, but speak. No, hold not thy peace. Next verse. For I am with you. No man shall set thee to hurt you. For I have much people in this city. I am with you. The reason we have to speak like this is because God has much people in this city. They are not here. Many of them right now are in nightclubs. They are smoking and drinking. They are dancing that. Hey, 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 hey. That's what they are doing. But they are supposed to, God said I have much people. You are not seeing it. God has much people. Ima just imagine, picture that on Sunday, everybody in Johannesburg go to church. We will have problem. There will be, there will be chaos in this city. Churches will run out of space. Just imagine that. But God said, don't be afraid to speak. First and foremost, let's pray for God's protection as we preach this undiluted gospel. Amen. Let's pray for protection. That God, you will protect us as we keep preaching. As you go win souls, God will protect you. Every act of soul winning angers Satan. Makes Satan angry. You don't know what it means for Satan to lose one person. For him, he's, he's, he's oh man. You don't know what it means. Can you just picture that Pastor KG was still in the club as a DJ? Just, just, if we could rewind the hand of time. Pastor KG is in the DJ Mapurisa. Is it Mapurisa? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Look at this brand plucked out of fire. Kaya, Jesus. Can you imagine that? Imagine that. Imagine that Pastor Benji is still drinking and smoking. You, where, is my, where is your wife? Is she here? My daughter, where are you? Wave at me. I was in Sakumzi with my late wife. Pastor Benji and his wife took us out. So Pastor Benji parked in a wrong place. They came to pick him. This is years ago. They came to call him that, listen, you parked in a wrong place. In Sakumzi, in uh, Soweto. So Pastor Benji left his two, he used to, it was it two cell phones. He left them on the table with his wife and walked away. His wife looked me in the eyes. He says, Daddy and Mommy, I don't know how to thank you that today my husband can leave me his cell phone. You don't understand. He was a major ninja. Oh, you are not hearing me. Major ninja. That is, his password has password and password to it. Because of all the transactions. And now, just by an act of coming here, the man has become a man of God. A man of God. I'm my daughter is there. She said this to me live with my late wife. Thanking me and my, my late wife. Thank you. I can't, I don't know how to pay you for what you have done in my life and in my marriage. The time they came here, she told me she is here. She said, our divorce is already in court when they came to House of Treasures. Now, their marriage is sweet. You <laughs> see, God has too many people in this city. Too many. Too many. That's why we must pray. They must get here. All those people you are seeing, they, some of them will be standing on this. Right now, they are doing, hey, 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 they are going to preach on this altar. Uh, uh, your amen, your amen. They will stand here to preach the Bible. That's why I beg you, listen, I know that God has given me grace. Just please bring them here. Just look, find them, bring them here. By the time one fire message comes out from this altar, they will change. The, anybody is changeable. I said anybody is changeable. What are you talking about? So many of you have all the stories that, so many of you have stories. 
I don't even want to tell some of your stories. Let me tell the leaders who will not get offended. But all of you have your own stories. How God has transformed your life. This is a transformational house. So that's why when we say, please bring somebody, we mean it. God has too many people in this city. God has too many people. Two prayers, we're going to pray. Father, as we go preach the gospel, protect us. Keep us, preserve us. No hurt will come to us. As we preach the gospel, Satan is angry. But Lord, protect us. We are not afraid to preach the good news. We are not afraid. Lift up your voice. Say, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as we go preach the gospel to everyone, we ask for your protection. We ask for your preservation. Father, everyone you have in this city, connect them to us to bring them to the kingdom. Connect them to us. Connect me to your people that you have in this city. Connect me to somebody that I must pray for this conference. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray that prayer. Let God connect you. He said, I have much people. God says, I have much people in this city. My God, Father, I pray that you connect me to the right person. Connect me to one of the much people, to two of the much people, to ten of the much people, to one thousand of the much people you have in this city. Connect me to ten thousand of the much people you have in this city and bring them here, Father. In the name of Jesus, use me, Lord. And as I preach the gospel, protect me and my family. Protect your people. Protect everyone. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shataka payada bragada. Embrade kosete bregedos. Mande rabada yada branagadas. Mande lebo koshede branagadas. Mande rabada yada branagedos. Embrade koseke bragada ya. Rebado sabre kepelegedos. Manda yada branagedos. Rebado sabre kepelegedos. Embrata kapata kapala daya. Mambre de de beshede branagedos. Embreke suka bragado seke beli arabada. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, my last prayer. I want us to pray. You know, conferences like this are altars to make men and women. And one of the things that make you, listen to me, hear me very well. One of the things that make men is the altar of sacrifice. Anybody who's not ready to sacrifice will never be made by God. You look through the Bible. Every time God wanted to raise a man, Abraham, take your only son. What do you do? Go and sacrifice him in Mount Moriah. That is the order. Solomon took a thousand burnt offering, sacrificed it to the Lord. What did God say? Ask me anything you want. That is the order. If you want God to remember you, just engage in a sacrifice. This conference is an altar where you can sacrifice. God may give you the opportunity. I want us to pray that Lord, whatever sacrifice I have to lay down in this conference, give me the heart. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Why are you angry? That's how we are made though. That's how. Listen, I told you in this church, I don't have a bracatabra. I have the word of God. I will teach you how things are done. Whenever I see an opportunity to lay down sacrifices, I always do it because that's how God opens channels of blessing. Everywhere I go, I never, even me as a pastor, when I go preach in conferences and I call for offering, you guys follow me to go and preach. I always drop the same amount that I call. If I call 10,000, I will give it. I will give it. If I call for any sacrifice, I will give it. Because that's how God makes men. God makes men through the altar of sacrifice. So please, I want you to pray for yourself. That if an opportunity comes for you to give any kind of sacrifice in this conference, you will not resist it. You will not resist it. Whatever he saith unto you, what do you do? Do it. One of my daughter recently, who is here right now, sitting here, she just gave, uh, you know, transferred 10,000 
for the conference. And she said these words when I called her to pray for her. She said to me, you know, last year I did the same thing and something broke in my life. Something will break for you in this, in this conference. Please, never resist this. Whatsoever Jesus say unto you, what do you do? Do it. And I want us to pray because it takes a heart. Now, let me say this to you. There is nothing you give that benefits God. Are you here? Let's see, I'm a blessed man, so I can tell you this. I'm not a hungry pastor. I'm not. I'm a blessed pastor. The reason I can tell you this is because I'm guaranteeing you, if you don't give in this church, this church will continue. It's a privilege for us. Listen, son. Look at it this way. Any farmer that goes to plant any seed on the ground, does the ground benefit from that seed? And uh -uh, now are you here? Are you sleeping? When a farmer puts a seed on the ground, who benefits from the seed? Are you talking back to me or not? Who benefits from the seed? The farmer. It does not bless the ground. Because that seed is going to germinate and produce a harvest that is greater than what the man planted. That is how it is when you bring seed or offering to the house of God. It does not benefit God. I want to help your mind so that you can stop thinking that when I give, oh, I am doing something for God. Eh -eh. It is for yourself. That seed is coming back to you in multiple folds. Multiple folds. Multiple folds. I never obey instruction. When I'm going somewhere or I'm going to a conference, I'll ask the Lord, what should I do? And he will tell me, take this amount of seed. Take the, don't allow a season like this go past without you dropping something that will break something in your life so that you can transit. They say if what you have is not enough for what you need, that means what you have is a seed for what you need. Uh-uh, your amen. Let's in five in two minutes, Lord, give me a sacrificial heart, a heart to sacrifice in this conference. When the need arises, let me be obedient to your word in the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray, Father, for every opportunity that may come for me to lay down seeds for my life. Father, I pray that you give me the heart to lay down what will cost my rising. Give me the heart to lay down the sacrifice that will cost my rising. Give me the heart to lay down, oh God, a sacrificial seed that will cost my rising. After Abraham gave his son, you said to him, now I know that you love me. Now in blessing, I will bless you. In multiplying, I will multiply you. And all nations shall know that I have blessed you. Lord, I thank you for the opportunity in this conference for me to lay down sacrifice. Give me the heart of obedience. Give me the heart of obedience. Give me the heart of obedience. Give me the heart of obedience in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Do you believe God has answered you? Rise up on your feet. Let's give God thanks. Lift up your voice and begin to thank him. Thank him for answered prayers. Thank him. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. Lord, I'm grateful. I thank you that I came tonight. I thank you that it was worth my time. Thank you, Father. What a glorious moment in your presence. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We receive it, Jesus. We receive answers to our prayers. We receive it, Father. We thank you for this is the confidence we have in you that when we pray according to your will, you hear at us. And if we know you have heard us, then we have the petition which we have asked of you. We believe it and we receive it. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. And the church say, Amen. Put your hands together for the Lord. Look at your neighbor say, you made it.
Yeah. Tell them it was hard, but you made it. Yeah. Amen. Church, thank you for coming out tonight. And I want to assure you something. That tonight marks a season of shift in your life. Tonight's prayer has changed everything in your life. You have sought the kingdom. Everything you have been lacking will be added to you. I said everything that needs to be in your life in this season that is not there shall be added after tonight's prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ. You didn't come here to ask God to give you a car, to give you a house, to give you bread, to give you health. Whatever it is that is missing in your life, my God will add it to you tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Lord, we give you all the praise and glory. In Jesus' name. Now, tonight, we're going to be gathered here at 5 p.m. to round up our fast. Tonight's prayer is what time? Uh -uh, you're not talking to me. What time? 5 p.m. So please get here 5 p.m. It's 5 to 6. And then we will go home and break our fast at 6 p.m. when we finish. Now, on Sunday is our service. You will still come fasting. Um, I decided, you know, you have a blessed pastor. So I decided that I gave, I think I transferred money from my credit card, my personal credit card to the King Francis. I said, buy us some Borovos and Rose. Let me feed everybody on my account. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. So when you eat that Borovos, just pray for apostles. The Lord bless apostle. Amen. So if you're going to stay for us to clean, we want to clean our auditorium. We've been doing a lot of construction. We've tried to level out some flooring that have been so bad and, you know, so, and we've built a mother's room. So we want to tidy up, clean our chairs, clean our carpets, and also clean all the lights on top, clean the air condition vents um, that are dusty. So tomorrow, that's on Sunday, sorry. After service, come, please, please bring change of clothes. Come with t-shirt and maybe shorts or jeans or whatever for us to clean. Amen. You remember we do that for every conference. So Sunday is that day. But what we will do, once service finish, we'll go change and start cleaning. And then we'll appoint some brothers to start praying for us. And then we'll take a break for... 20 minutes to go eat something so we can have some strength to continue cleaning. Amen. But for those of you who uh, you know may not be able to make it, I want everybody to stay. But if you can't make it, it's okay. If you have an emergency or your transport is leaving, we will permit you to go. But I want all of us to please come and let us clean. Who will join us for cleaning? Thank you. God bless you. Please join us. May the Lord go with you. May his angels go ahead of you. Make every crooked place straight. As you go home, no evil person will see you. I plead the blood of Jesus over you. You will get home safely. In Jesus' name. Amen. I love you all. God bless you. See you at 5 p.m.